<sighs> All right, it's go time. Woo! It's time to get kooky. All right, we got 45 people in here. Very cool, very cool. Sleek and sexy. I like it. Scotty says, hurry up. LOL. I'm here. I'm hurrying. This dude says something about the Illuminati. I already love it. Hope you guys can hear me good. Let's see. This, this, this should be a good discussion. I hope so. You know, let's get the live built up a little bit here and then we'll get cooking. David says, Jack, the flat earther. I actually don't. Um, I actually don't buy any of it, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure what I believe. I don't believe there's like that old saying. Um, uh, believe nothing you hear and half of what you see. And I'm starting to kind of believe that. I think that's a pretty accurate uh, thing. Take a hit. <sighs> Guys. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get weird tonight. If you're new to the live stream, we'll get a little more people in here, and then basically I'm gonna put out a link, let you guys be able to join the stream, and well, we could get kooky together, you know. Um, there is a wolf spider watching you. I believe it. Keep it loose, keep it light, keep it fresh. You know it. Uh Papa Cotton, he goes, at this point, conspiracy theorists should be called oracles. Yeah, I know. It's wonderful. Uh, fantastic topic. The younger generation needs to learn more about politics more now than ever. I'm 64. Wow. Um, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I am so out of the loop with, uh, you know, I don't watch any of the political debates. I don't know. I, I you know, I live in Florida, right? And people are like, uh, oh, Ron DeSantis, or I think that's his name. Um the, you, you know, your governor, I, I hope he's their governor. I don't know uh, exactly, but I, but I remember this was like maybe a year ago and they're like, yeah, Ron DeSantis, DeSantis. And I go, I, I, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I, that's, I know that's kind of sad. Um, call me ignorant or something, but it's just, I, you know, there's good and bad on every side. I think there's just more bad, honestly. I don't want to get too negative here, but it's the truth. This guy goes, I can't stick around, but his conspiracy theory is lonely fan girls are getting money from the CCP. See, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, I'm an, I, I don't know. Don't get mad. That, you know, don't get mad at me. You guys voted for it. Uh, is noticing things a conspiracy theory? Um, yeah. And nowadays, yeah, it is. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Right. Oh, it looks like we got 129 people already. Very cool. Let's get kooky. Okay. Let's get, let's get out there. I'm going to drop the link. Whoever wants to jump in, we'll get this party started. Basically just talk about your favorite conspiracy theories or what you think is true or what isn't true. Um, oh, this one's good. Uh, the economy is in good shape. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's perfect. It's all, not, it's been better than ever. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, my boy. What's up, man? Appreciate you being here. Uh, taco, yes or no? No, Taco's out skating. Um, you know, we decided to just be friends. You know, uh, you know that old saying, don't go into business with your friends. You know what? It's kind of true. Plus, they'll usually just let you down anyways. So I'm going to actually listen to that advice. And, um, not try and uh, go against the grain, but he's good. He's out skateboarding right now. He's chilling. I mean, at least I think he's good. You know, um, you jamokes, you know it. And for anybody wondering what a jamoke is, it's just another word for idiot. It's like jabroni. Uh, let's see. All right. So I dropped the link in the description. If anybody wants to pop on, you're more than welcome. If not, I'll get the party started because I have to run the show. So that's fun. Uh, Arby's used to have a great Jamoke shake. Yeah, they did, actually. I missed that. Uh, hi, back. London checking in. Yeah. You know what's crazy about London? Um, you know how they just... I know cameras are everywhere, but 
I don't know if you guys ever saw that though, where they just have a 24 hour live feed of like certain streets in London. Um, I thought that was super odd. That's like, it's so trippy. You know, I don't have, um, other than this and me broadcasting to the world, um, I'm like so kooky. I got tape on my, my phone camera on the front camera, at least. Um, I don't have Alexa. I don't have Siri. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I have Siri. She's always listening. But, um, you know, the last thing I need is Alexa, you know, just her and Siri running around my house at night doing God knows what. Um, but I always thought that was trippy, that live stream shit with the in London. That was like weird, man. Like, and I'm the kind of guy like, don't judge me, but I'm, I'm the kind of guy to just like take a leak anywhere. Like I'll just piss wherever. Um, so the last thing I need is some guy going, hey, look at this dude, you know, whole world's watching me. He goes, look at his penis. <laughs> Loser. All right. We got our first guy coming in here. We, all right. It looks like we got Tommy coming in hot. Tommy, what's going on, brother? Can you hear me? What up, Jack? My man. Tommy boy. I'm getting some feedback. I hear you twice. Mm, do you have a, do you have me open on another um do you have another screen open with this playing? We're having technical difficulties here. I think I don't think so. I'm on a cell phone. Okay. Um, do you have headphones? Maybe you could plug in. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Plug those in. I'm going to bring you right back on. Just stay in the queue. All right. So the government's watching. They know what we're up to. Okay. They're trying to sabotage this production, okay? But we're not going to let them. All right. Looks like we got Connie coming in next. All right. Connie, you there? Or has the government got hello, a hold hello. of you too? Do you hear me all right? You don't sound like Connie. Oh, my bad, bro. I'm kidding. That's another. That's a conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's um, In today's it world, is. you could be whoever you want. You probably get lower car, uh, car insurance uh, being a Connie anyways. 186. And my man. Good man. Not too bad. All right, Connie. How old are you and where are you hailing from, brother? I'm turning 26 this year, sir, and I'm out way out in New York. Oh, yeah. Goddamn, boy. <laughs> 26 jeez, good what year time to be alive good yeah. year man it wasn't until 27 i started wigging out i was like i'm gonna be 30 <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> so you got another year to go before that happens I, I, I noticed that happens to everybody around 27 years old everyone at least people in my life um a, lo a lot more people something i noticed called a conspiracy but anyways um so connie you see the topic at hand tonight we're talking conspiracies you gotta what's your favorite conspiracy you want to get kooky with tonight sure uh i don't you've heard of aliens right aliens? you familiar yeah you talking about like et phone home and like ufos aliens That's exactly what i'm talking about yeah yeah there's um Besides that, I guess being a conspiracy in itself, I don't. Th I think, I don't think they're from like, you know, other planets or far away like that. You know what I mean? I think Wait. maybe they. So, do you believe? Uh, let me see. Do you believe in like, you know how um, this has to do with the aliens? So, sure. or extraterrestrial, whatever. Right, right. Um, so, like, you know uh, that theory where it's like beyond the ice wall. It's like instead of outer space, it's just more space. Like it's like beyond. You know, like areas, lands we're not allowed to go to. Um, so I don't know if I believe any of this stuff, but that would make sense. Or it would make sense, too, if they're coming from underground or like underwater. What's your take on that? I think, I mean, obviously, I don't know anything, right? I'd love to, you know. Hello, it's agents. Okay. We're, just, we're, just, we're not taking all this to heart here. We're just having right, fun. Right. Just spitballing. Yeah, keep it loose. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess there's a chance, like, there's just they're humans that have been here a little longer than we thought. Right. Mm. I never really thought about that. Like, cause sometimes I think about it and I'm like, what, you know, cause we portray them to look a certain way. Right. Um, like the classic, uh, big right, eyes right. with the funny, you know, um, I guess to them, we would have funny heads, but to us, they have funny heads. So, uh, that's how I always think about it. But then when I really think about it, I'm like, Maybe that's what they want us to think they look like. Maybe <laughs> right, they look right. completely different. Um, you know how uh, 
you know, like I'm getting to the point where, you know, you hear people talk about like lizard people and all this stuff. And um, I'm just like, if somebody ever says that we're, be our country is being run by lizard people, I'm just at the point where I go, I get that, you know? Yeah, like, rocks, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Like I owned an iguana. I didn't trust them at all. You know, right. you got lizards running around there in Florida. Exactly. All the time. You got to try not to step on them. And the way things are going, it would actually make more sense if they were reptilian because of how cold blooded it is. You <laughs> right, know, like right. literally, though, I'm like, I'm like, please let it be lizards running the show. Like that's the if, easy solution. Like if the gecko from Geico was legit real, I would I'd probably I'd actually be happy about that. That explains some insurance rates. Oh, my God. Yeah, those lizards. You don't know what the hell they're up to. Uh, but anyways, I got a bunch of people jumping in the queue. Uh, hey, appreciate, right you, appreciate you calling in. I'm going to try Tommy again here. All right, Hopefully good luck. Take care. Oh, all right, brother. Thanks for calling in. All right. Tommy, Tommy Boyk, how how we sounding? We're good. We're good. All right, man. So uh, how old are you and where are you hailing from, brother? Uh, I'm 45 and I live in Phoenix, but I'm a truck driver. So I'm in, uh, where am I? I'm in uh, Alabama right now. Oh, all right, all right. Alabama, gotcha. Yeah, I'm in my spaceship, actually. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> all right, I keep doing that. Somebody actually hit me up, uh, not to get too off topic, but somebody hit me up. I've had this twice now. People were like, is there a way you could copyright that thing you do? And I was like, I highly doubt it. And I'm sure right. And I'm sure somebody's already done that before me, uh, you know, but – Hey, I'm going to own it until other people, if other people started doing that and then became a popular thing, I would just be like, yeah. Yeah. All right. So Tommy, let's get down to brass tacks here. We're talking conspiracies. You got any, uh, you got any ones you want to kind of just, just shoot off the hip, something that you're, you know, tripped you out a little bit. Well, any, anything is any, is anything, nothing's off topic. Oh, no. off limits. And just for the record, just uh, all hail Google, just for the record here, um, this is entertainment purposes only. And, um, you know, we're just making stuff up here. So absolutely go ahead. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Fire off whatever you want. I'm into I'm into all of it. So considering I've I've I travel this whole country, all 48 states, and I've worked in many many different industries to include farming and construction um this is obviously just a conspiracy but a lot of people believe it the uh the people that get flooded into our country every time the democrats are in office are really brought in here on purpose mm. right why why well why not cheap labor right and profit makes sense to me yeah, I mean, it's, it's just it's sort of uh, sort of like, uh, you know, crack in the 80s, right? Oh, yeah. How they we said gotta like, build, the, build government, the government was actually, you know, pushing the allegedly. I'm not saying they yeah. did. Um, I get it. You got to get your money. I understand. I mean, it, it makes it makes all the sense in the world. I mean, not only was that the biggest prison boom in history was the 80s and 90s. Oh, right? for sure. For sure. Yeah. I mean, we needed to fill them somehow. It's it's just too much of a coincidence that the rumor is the government put all that stuff out on the streets as well as the government changed all the laws quickly. Mm. Very quickly. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I wouldn't doubt it. A bunch of lizard people slithering around, okay? Mm -hmm. You can't trust them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, I don't, but, you know, hey, all hell Google, right? Hey, follow um, the money. Yeah. Follow the money. Well, that's that's something I've, I've thought about because, you know, like I put on the uh, thumbnail, you'll own nothing and be happy because, you know, I get that comment all the time and you hear it all the time. It's just being programmed into us. But um, I'm starting to just believe it to be true. And then when I hear stuff like, um, you know, they're letting them in on purpose and, and not that I don't want anybody to be able to come here and have a good life. I really don't care, but, um, you know, and I've never actually tried to move to another country, so I don't know how easy of a process that is, but it seems to be getting to a point, at least in America where I'm just like, 
I, I, and nobody wants to work those jobs anyways. They're like, Hey, who's going to work these jobs for uh 12 bucks an hour. They go, don't worry about that. We've got them coming in by the boatloads, baby. Oh, it's, it's some of the most brutal, brutal labor you will ever see. I mean, uh, you know, I love America, but unfortunately we've gotten to this point where Americans that have been here for two or three generations, they just will not work like the immigrants that are trying to prove themselves, you know? Oh, absolutely. I mean, and I'm, I'm guilty, <laughs> guilty, like, you know, um, cause I talk about trades and stuff a lot because I do know uh, like all literally my best friend who I call my brother. If you ever hear me say my brother, it's really just my best friend. Um, we were in the same room when I was born. He's a year older than me. Godparents, the whole nine. Um, and we were both only ch children. So we just claim each other as, as siblings, but, um, he's, he's in the trades. My other best friend, when I say best friend, I mean like my closest people, he's an electrician. And then my cousin, who's my best friend too, he's a, a carpenter. He, well, he does a bunch of different stuff, but basically, you know, everybody that I'm really best friends with are all in the trades, but, um, you know, since they've been in it so long, they're actually getting paid really well, but most of the workers for the company, um, are, are immigrants. And that's just the truth. And my cousin, he complains about it all the time, but I'm like, well, dude, you gotta think about it. You're getting paid 35 an hour, um, which shockingly isn't enough. And and I'm like, how much do you think these cats are making? You know what I mean? How much do you think the, uh, uh, you know, Pablo's pulling in? And he was like, oh, nothing. Maybe like 15, maybe, maybe 15. Yeah. An hour. And, um, but it's crazy because you literally, anybody in their right mind isn't going to go fill a spot for $15 an hour to break their back. You know what nope. I mean? No one's going to do it. Well, apparently people will do it. They're shipping them in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, hey, a, that's a hot take. I'll let you wrap up. Go ahead. Uh, just two quick things real quick. What's crazy is I travel to some of these, uh, like, let's say, uh, mines, like rock mines, rock quarries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they bring in lower wage workers, and then they let them live on, on the grounds for free in campers. Oh, dude, I. that's not even a conspiracy. That's like, that's just no. real. That's real. Oh, no, yeah. My dad used to go when he owned his company, he had two main guys that made really good money with him, but he had like four or five other dudes and he was kind of fucked up, but he, he didn't want a, um, an English barrier. So he would go and purposely drive to the hood. Right. And, um, and he would just spark conversations with people. He'd go up to like a quick stop or whether like a bunch of people are hanging out and that's how he would get his workers. He'd basically get people that are straight up just felons or, you know, totally off the grid type people that don't want to lose their, so their uh, section eight or their EBT stuff like that. I know it's kind of fucked up, but you know, that's what he did. Cause I used to always ask him, I'm like, dad, why don't you just, you know, uh, go through this hassle. And he's like, He's like, nobody wants to work for what I'm going to pay them. Yeah. And I was like, that's kind of fucked up. He's like, yeah, I know. But he's like, I won't be able to, you know, how am I going to get any of these jobs done? If I, I thought that was bizarre though. And oh, the point of that was though, is he would let, um, two different guys, he would let them sleep. Um, he actually made them a deal. He was renting a like small efficiency and he would let the two guys stay there for free and basically work for peanuts, but they had a roof over their head. Yeah. I thought that was crazy. I was like, that's <laughs> business in the U S that's classic, man. Hey, I appreciate you calling in Tommy. I like that hot take. I'm going to get to that. I got a bunch of people in the queue here. All right. Just hey, you're keeping me going out here, man. You really keep me company out here on the road. Hey, I appreciate that dude. Feel free to call in any Sunday, man. And uh, glad you like the goods, dude. All right. Thank you. See you later. Right. Peace. Hey, thanks for the two bucks. From Steven, dude, your ch your channel blew up. Yeah, uh, I mean, define blow up, you know, but because uh, it's funny because uh, I'm so happy with 33,000 people. I think it's crazy. Um, but I have talked to like, I ran into some YouTubers recently. Uh, let me get Anthony. Uh, Anthony, hold on one moment, brother. Um, you know I ran into some YouTubers recently in Miami and it was like, they're like really big channels, like half a million subscribers and stuff like that. And um 
I was with Shape, you guys' favorite. And uh, he was like really sparking the conversations. I was kind of just sitting back, you know, because I really don't want anything from these people. But, um, you know, Shape was using me as leverage, like, yeah, my boy's got 30K. And uh, he said that to the one YouTuber, and he just goes, he goes, oh, 30K? He was like, I was like that's okay. <laughs> it's just like, oh, God. It's like, so I'm stoked, and I'm stoked for everybody here. But anyways, uh, Anthony, my boy, what's up, brother? What's going um, on, Jack? Just for the new people here, I'm sure everybody knows you by now. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the guy who I've been um, – do, he's doing the GoFundMe. I'm always trying to raise money for that. This is him. Put a face to the name. Uh, Anthony, right. for the new people here, how old are you and where are you hailing from? I am 38 years old and um, I'm, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, but I moved to uh, North Carolina in 2015 and I've been here ever since. All right. Well, um, so, you know, tonight's topic, conspiracies. Uh, you got any mm -hmm. hot, anything, you, you know, one of them that really, you know, that you really want to talk about? Go ahead and let it rip. Okay. So before I get to the conspiracy, I want to say thank you to everybody in the chat. I want to say thank you to Jack for pushing the GoFundMe because we're almost at $800. Oh, nice. Um, Very and good. a lot of people donated anonymously. And I'm assuming that's a lot of people from the chat um some probably some people on facebook and things of that nature so mm -hmm. so thank you guys so much yeah no problem for man. your generous donations thank you jack um no but i i man i really can't talk about it man um so <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy but hey, i know so remember this is all for entertainment purposes mm -hmm. okay nothing is to be taken okay truthfully mm -hmm. All right. So, so I I spoke to someone who confirmed for me um, that uh, quote unquote conspiracy theory is true, and um, it's not something that's widely talked about anymore. I don't think, um, but back in the day, this was something that people used to talk about, and I was told I can't talk about it publicly. They can't talk about it publicly. Um, what is if, it building this up here? If we were to talk about it publicly, something could happen. So I, oh, I could disappear. So okay, <laughs> You're, you know what, Anthony? If you can't talk about it, you, do you have anything else you could talk about? If not, we're gonna have to keep the show moving. No, no offense. I, I love you. I could talk to you about it privately, Jack, and then you oh. could do with it what you want from there. But all right, all right. we'll we'll get kooky privately. I'm gonna keep the show rolling. Um, yeah, man. I appreciate you hopping on, dude. I hope you hit the 2K. I'll, I'll, I'll once again, I'll leave the link for the GoFundMe to help this gentleman's family. And uh, you know, it's crazy what strangers can do. But anyways, Anthony, I'll talk to you later, brother. All right, man. Peace. Okay, thanks for the five bucks from uh, Kevin Slims. We have zero immigration uh, when Republicans are in office. Yeah, see, I'm so not tapped into re Republican, this side, this side. Um, you know, everyone's talking about, are you on the left? Are you on the right? I'm like, bitch, I'm West side. Yay, yay. I'm just kidding. Bad joke. It actually, I just learned last year that red was Republican and blue was Democrat. I know. I know. That's how far gone I am. All right, we got Ethan coming in here. And thanks for the five bucks in, uh, from uh, Kevin here. Uh, all right, we got Ethan on the track. Ethan, how old are you and where are you hailing from, brother? I'm uh, 23. I'm from Indiana. All right, 23, the young buck. Yep. Okay, so, uh, so Ethan, lay it on us here. If you got any conspiracy theories that you kind of, or just one in particular or two um, that you, you know, that you think about and you go, mm. you know what I mean? I mean, I have a lot, man. I, which one's your favorite one to 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 really think about? Oh man, I I think right now we're in uh the fall of Rome, I, I, like this is uh I don't know. No, no, I I hear what you're saying. Go ahead. This is all entertainment purposes only. Just let it out. You know, just it's like uh you're saying it's basically the fall of the Roman Empire, but it's happening in American style. Right, but like I think. Cause like when 2020 happened, I like basically asked God for the truth about society and everything like that. Like I really wanted to go dive deep in there and then I kind of regret it because all this information that I've received is like, Oh, it's overwhelming when you first, 
Oh, when you first go down these rabbit holes, oh my God, it's enough to make you want to like yell at people in public and go, wake up, you know, but you can't do that. Right. Uh, but okay. like, so, the, so go keep going. Biggest thing is like what I've learned from all these conspiracy theories is like, you can really, really relate everything back to the Bible. And like, I think it's a whole uh, religious standpoint, you know, I mean, like from the Epstein stuff, from like them raping little kids and stuff like that, you know, I, I think there's spirituality behind it. Like the closest thing to God, I think is an innocent child. And when you, oh, when you break it down like that, you do the deed, that's a, you know, deepest thing, but you know, like if you guys, I think they want to ban TikTok and other things because the truth can get out really easy on that type of stuff. But I do think like, you know, these lizard people or whatever, they're like, they're Satan's offspring, you know, Satan had offspring and like, they're called shapeshifters or whatever. And there's a guy called Isaac Cappy who went off on, on this stuff. Oh yeah. He got, he, and they he got murked too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and he, I think Mel Gibson, all of them are on that stuff. And like, there's actually there's actually a trippy interview on Mel Gibson from like the early 2000s and it looks like it was shot on like a camcorder like just uh not even professional level just like him and a homie hanging out yeah. and he's like smoking a bogey he's chilling but he starts talking about all this type of stuff that and just how you said with the TikTok and like you know there's this conspiracy stuff is really like blown up I'm talking like it's everywhere you know um and that's cool I like people to have an open mind that's why I brought, I, you know, I'm into it too, but I kind of look at it from an open mind. Um, you know, I don't like ever believe anything is fact, but, but when think, you, but Mel Gibson himself was talking about this shit, um, smoking a bogey too. So it's not, this isn't television. And he was saying that he, when he came to Hollywood, he started seeing all this stuff and he was like, this can't be real. And he was talking about like, you know, this higher people in power and like Hollywood having like, um, this control over people and this like bigger than just movies type situation. And then, and then he said, but once he got into it, he realized, Oh, it is true. But then he said, as you get into it, because that's what you want to do for work, you kind of start to ignore it. So, um, which I thought was crazy because that's what, you know, I ignore it all the time. I ignore it. You know, uh, I, cause I know one friend, I'm uh, not really a friend acquaintance of mine, He's so deep down the rabbit hole that he is basically never going to work a job. He went so far down that he's not even going to participate in society. I mean, what I basically am on right now is like, I'm either, I just want to go live in the woods and F off and, you know, completely say screw it. Or I want to like really one day be a leader and make a change in like the country. But because like, I think right now you have, you know, the right side of your brain is logic and whatever. And then the left side is your emotions. And that's what the parties are. They don't want you to be in true alignment. They don't want you to be in the center. They don't want you to, you know, be in line with God. And I, I think everything's just, uh, you know, it's, a, uh, and I, th I think global like consciousness or whatever, like when everybody's thinking the same thing, it comes to fruition. You know, if you have a lot of fear out there. Oh, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Well, you are what you think type situation. So, right. like, you own nothing and be happy. Everyone keeps telling them themselves that. And then, and it then it's going to be it's true. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. But, you, um, uh, but, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But uh, I do want to say something about the Bible, though. I don't think there's too much coincidence with it. Uh, I think it's kind of like because um, I went to Christian school up till eighth grade. So I'm very familiar with this stuff. Um, and so. I think what it is, is it's almost like they're trying to make all these things like come true. Like, right. I think it's just written out already. Like it's already written, you know, that type of saying. So I totally get what you're saying. Uh, don't bite the apple guys. I think it's too late, but Ethan, I'm gonna let you go. I got a bunch of people in the queue here. Everyone just be patient. I'm getting to you. I uh, appreciate you calling in brother. You're a young buck. Don't let this ruin your life. Soak it in. Take a hit. Or don't take a hit, okay? They want everybody stoned, okay? Take a metaphorical hit, mellow out. I've been a year clean so far right now. Hey, good for you, man. Stay yeah. clean, and uh, you're, you're way more dangerous uh, sober. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Stay laser-visioned. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, Ethan, I'm going to let you go, brother. Thanks for calling in.
All right. <clears throat> we got Dustin on the track. Dustin, one moment. Hey, hey. I'm gonna oh, get right, all right. I'm going to get right to you. I'm going to read this one real quick. Uh, this guy goes, you fellas don't watch football. Okay. So uh, no. speaking of conspiracies, so uh, apparently the NFL said they leaked – they leaked something for the Super Bowl. They put it on like an advertisement and it was like Super Bowl, whatever. And they already claimed the two teams that are going to be playing in the Super Bowl, even though it's not, they're not supposed to know what teams are in there. But that was like, that was a big thing blowing up right now. You can look it up. And um, I thought that was hilarious because, you know, I'm one of those kooks, kooky guys that thinks a lot of those sports are planned out. Um, like, I don't think it's on accident that it's like point for point, touchdown for touchdown, interception for interception. Like, um, it's almost like a scripted thing. But anyways, another conspiracy theory. I don't want to insult anybody, football fans. But anyways, let's get over. To, so, no, I don't watch football. Sorry. Uh, but anyways, we got Dustin on the track. Dustin, where are you hailing from and how old are you, brother? Howdy, howdy. Uh, I'm residing in Cleveland, currently 29 years old. I actually just... Uh, left Florida. I was in Melbourne. It got too hot for me this year. Oh yeah, you couldn't, it was too, couldn't hang. It was it was too much. I'll take the snow. So uh, I do have a conspiracy theory that goes pretty deep. Um, Lay it on. I don't, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Admiral Bird lost diary entries. Oh yeah, where so so basically sum it up for people. This guy Admiral Bird back in the day. He went on a on a uh, he was a pilot and he worked he was in, in the army military something of that nature, took a plane all the way to Antarctica, and he was flying through and this is back in the day in the forties or some shit, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, around there, and uh, so anyways he was flying and he noticed this big opening and he started flying towards the opening and like the ice wall, and then all of a sudden two aircrafts like sucked him in. And yep. kind of took over his plane. So then he, according to this guy, okay, um, they sucked them through. And then he he went through this, like, this hole. And the next thing you know, he went through Antarctica. And then on the other side was, like, lush green land. Mm -hmm. um, a whole other continent. So anyways, I'm going to pass the mic back over to Dustin. So here's the, like, backstory on it. Admiral Byrd was actually a naval officer, an admiral in the U.S. Navy in the late 40s and actually in World War II as well. So they sent them out to do an expedition of Antarctica. At least that was like the ploy they went under. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it was to go look for old, uh, I don't know if I can say the N-word of the funny mustache people on your stream in oh, the 30s uh, hailing the from... The Von Hugenstein, stinkle, stinkle, stinkle. You know, So you know who we're talking about. Yeah. So and then, Frank, all that. Exactly. So the yeah. theory is that they had submarine bases under the ice that they were looking for. And that's what they went out there initially. So then that happened on that uh, expedition flight he went on. And he got essentially abducted by who they now believe to be the people of the lost city of Atlantis. Yeah, the and hollow the whole, earth people. Exactly. And the yep. whole theory is that the wormholes in Antarctica. And it's just, it's really trippy because... That's where they did all the uh, expeditions to it, the Germans in the early 30s. And then right when they came back, they started to have all the advances in technology. And yep. then the, the one thing that really ties it back to me that made me think that there's some credibility here is all the theories of where all the leaders of the party went after the, you know, the Russians took over Berlin is they went to Argentina, mm. which is the closest country to antarctica mm. and antarctica has claims from all the major powers in the world and nobody's allowed to go there yeah there's actually like that thing and guys just so you know i'm just some dude who likes to j joke around on the internet okay Me too. i all don't right? know anything get a little kooky but apparently all of the uh countries or i don't know about all the countries but all the big the big cats right um, rare cat claws, all the big people who run the show, they all have, they don't agree on shit, but they agree on one thing. We don't let anybody into Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that's a bit suspect. That and, raises some flags. Yeah. And honestly, the, like the travel restrictions, you know, cause I feel like such an idiot for not traveling anywhere. And, um, but, uh, you think about it and it's like, 
let's just say you went and set sailed and you were just like, I'm going for it. Um, you know, no one really does that. How many yeah. people are actually out there going places? I know I'm not. I well, I'll be honest, I do. I I, I chase hail around the country contract roofs, so I kind of do that okay. a little bit. But just I mean, have just you ever continentally? Just, but have you ever just gone out and been like, I'm gonna go to the unknown? You yeah. know, like yeah, like I'm gonna go to the Bermuda Triangle. Let me see what the f- is going Definitely. on over there. You know? Definitely not. Yeah, so it's kind of <laughs> But anyways, I uh, appreciate you jumping on. I got a bunch of people. For sure. Here. Thank you. And uh, yeah. Congrats that, on the that, channel growth. Thanks, man. Um, You know, we're going to get kooky with it. And uh, all hail Google. Von Schnitzel Schnitzelstein. Hail the Google overlords. Yeah. Anyways, man, thanks uh, for hopping on, Dustin. Have a great night, man. Peace. Peace. Thanks for the uh, 199 from downtown. From Schmilly, Smiley. Love your show. Thank you. I love you. As much as I can. Yeah. You know? Mojo Dojo, they got a. He's got an awesome. Uh, if you guys are into vintage goods like I am, he's got a really cool YouTube channel. You guys can go check him out if you're into the the vintage world. Thanks for the five bucks. He goes, hey, I may or may not have a full size alien in a test tube in my basement. Yeah, and he's selling it for a lot of money. Um, all right, here we go. We got. Looks like we got shot guys. Just stay. I see you all in the queue. Stay patient. I'm gonna get to you. All right, looks like you got Sean coming in hot. Sean, where are you hailing from, brother? Testing one, two. You hear me, Jack? Oh, hear you loud and clear. Beautiful. Sean, 51, New Zealand, all the way down the bottom, pretty close to Antarctica. Oh, down under. Just a man down under. Brother, first of all, thanks, man. Uh, Really enjoyed the show. Your positive energy. I think you've come from, you know, a sales background and a a bar background, so you're used to that energy uh, sort of, you know, getting that energy, getting that sort of sales uh, getting that positive vibe out there. So thanks. Um, you know, try, keeping try, it light, I, keeping I, it breezy. I try and keep good vibrations. I try to. Okay, I'm not perfect. Uh, yeah, but I try my best. You're in good company. Nobody's perfect. Uh, so uh, yeah, conspiracy. Straight into it. Food. Uh, processed Ooh, food. This is a good one. The packaging. You know, mm. the, uh, we've lost lost our way. Yeah, you know, our grandparents used to grow the stuff. We knew where it came from. Now we're buying these pretty little packages. Delightful colors, lots of sugar, lots of additives, silicon dioxide. You know, yep. there's all sorts of things in there, preservatives. I mean, there's heaps of documentaries on YouTube. I won't bore you guys, but, you know, it's all there. Uh, they used to put formaldehyde in, in milk products to keep it, you know, the Industrial Revolution. So, guys, try to eat as healthy. Keep away from fast food. I know it's easy. I know it's cheap. But if we can try to – it just goes in the brain, you know, and uh, stifles our uh, creativity and our, our life force. Yeah, you know what's actually uh, actually nuts is a while back, I'd say about eight years ago, I was super sick, unhealthy, a lot of soda, a lot of not real food. But I went for like a good three months on just water. I didn't even eat meat. Um, I just kind of cut out everything that wasn't like whole foods just to like get healthy, and it actually worked. Oh, yeah. That's and uh, this is for entertainment purposes only, guys. Sure. Um, but uh, I'm actually back to it now to where the past, uh, I think, ne- about a week and a half almost now, I've cut out. Um, I haven't had meat in, I don't know, two weeks. And I've just cut out, like, everything. I'm having coffee, just black coffee, not even cream and sugar, which I don't even think sugar is necessarily that bad for you. I think it's the other stuff. But um, – well, yeah, like what's your thoughts like uh, in New Zealand? Do you guys got like a lot of processed foods or do you think – I don't know if you've been to America before, but over here it's like have, yeah. we yeah, have a lot Arizona. of – I looked at Canada. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff in America that's not even allowed in other countries. Like so what's it like in New Zealand? A lot of fast food, a lot of processed too? Oh, yeah. I mean we uh, baby America. Baby, you know, we've got uh, the McDonald's, the, the the KFC, we've got it all. So uh, people here, we have like the indigenous people, the Maori uh, people here, you know, like, so we've got uh, a lot of Pacific Islanders, uh, big Pacific Island uh, culture here as well. So a lot of fast food, a lot of seed oils, which, you know, vegetable oils, which aren't from vegetable. You know, it's like grapeseed. 
after the wine production, they had all this leftover crap. They thought, what are we going to do with it? What we'll do is we'll make an oil out of it. I mean, yeah. this stuff is not good for you. So, yeah, you're right. Plenty of packaging. It's just the same. You think of an American supermarket, you go into a New Zealand supermarket, 70, 80, 90% of the stuff is packaged. It's not good for you. The stuff on the outside, you know, the whole foods is there. But, you know, it's basically people will up the Coca-Cola. I mean, the co- yeah, you're right. I, I, the thing is with the sugar in this, and when you've got some free time, look up some documentaries on on what sugar does to you as opposed to say, we have a lot of grass-fed beef here. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of, you know, we, for thousands of years, we grew up on meat. And then there's a whole lot of people, uh, pharmaceutical companies funding studies on eggs and meat saying it's bad. It's yeah. actually seed oils and sugar. If you try that for for a few months, you know, some, some grass-fed beef if you can. I know it's expensive over there. Uh, some eggs, uh, try to get, uh, you know, as free range as you can. Cut back on the sugar. Uh, you know the vape's bad for you. Uh, there's oh, all dude, conspiracies you that are right up there. I'm smoking sugar right now. Man, I used to be addicted to um, to carbos, like corn chips, uh, cooked in uh, and, uh, seed oil. Really bad for you, full of MSG flavoring, and you just get hooked on the stuff. I mean, we we're human, you know, we're not yep. perfect. We get addicted, man. We, I, I've been a addicted personality as well, so I, I feel you. But hey, if you want to reset, if you've got some time, you do like a a one to two to three day maximum, um, you know, fast on just water or lemon. Oh, I've uh, done, and- I've done, I've done five days, and I can contest if anybody thinks that's crazy. I'm not kidding I, you. If you can make it through the three days of no food, oh, yeah. just, just water, on the on the end of the third day, by the next day, you no longer have to shit. Your stomach doesn't hurt at all. You almost go kind of, um, there's like this weird, uh, you know, like when you get really tired and you stick through it and then all of a sudden you wake back up. It's like the same yeah. thing, but with your stomach. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. And it can actually you reset it. You know, as long as you, you know, at the end, you don't just go out and get a Big Mac and fries and a cola. You know? No, you, no, you, no. There's no. plenty of things on YouTube. We won't bore you guys with the details, but if you want to look deeper into it, and you've, you, you you feel the effects. I mean, what I learned, another conspiracy is the doctors that say there's no correlation between what you eat and and, and, and diseases in your body. Well, that's BS because oh, if no. you've gone out yeah, for a week eating it. fast food and drinking and smoking after a week, you feel like, shit. So, I mean, well, come on. This well, here's, here's, I'm going to, I'm going to, I got a bunch of people in the queue, but here's one last thing I'm going to, I'm going to sure. hang up on. Um, there's a, uh, s- something happens. Like if you guys ever do try and fast, just something to kind of warn you about, I would take off of work to do it. Um, Definitely. and also, uh, don't, don't be alarmed if you end up getting mad, uh, like getting mad, like something happens when you don't eat for like five days you start to kind of call bullshit on stuff and you start to go i've been eating three meals a fucking day and and so don't if you do try and fast just um that's gonna be a normal thing but um yep. but anyway sean start, i appreciate you coming three, on one to three days max to start don't go for five at first yeah the, the five 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 days will trip you out uh, i'm oh, guilty yeah. i'm guilty of it so it'll it really will bug you out anyway sean thanks for coming Peace on up, brother. brother all right man Okay, we got Jeff coming in next real quick. How about the old swapping of the Titanic with another damaged ship in order to sink it? Yeah, you know, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I had a stupid Titanic joke. I forget what it was. But you know what did piss me off about the Titanic? I actually watched it like last year. And after I watched the whole movie, I went and I Googled it because I wanted to know about the Jack guy and uh, the Rose character. And it turns out that those people were fake. That was just made up to create a story. And, um, you know, I just, uh, so yes, Bill, it's for sure. They made up those two people who I got invested in. I'm thinking this diamond's real, all this stuff. And it turns out it was just Hollywood hocus pocus. So who fucking knows? Anyways, we got Jeff coming in here. Oh, Jeff, hey. Jeff, Hi. my boy. What's going on, man? Where are you hailing from, brother? I'm in Indianapolis. All right. Indianapolis bandit. So um, yeah. thanks for calling in. So uh, conspiracies, dude. Which uh, okay. you, got, you, got you got something marinating on your mind? Yeah. Uh, the, I, I'm talking specifically about the Super Bowl right now, but this applies to sports in general. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is that uh, anytime you get a bunch of guys in a room, a bunch of ordinary guys, ordinary men, not yep. – not professional football players, 
what you have is a bunch of guys sitting on a couch, possibly drinking beer, possibly eating a bunch of food. Oh, most most of them. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing most most Americans, at least in general, are are massively overweight. We're mostly just obese. That's just a norm around here. Okay, so so these are all feminizing uh, traits. The, the obesity, it, it, fat produces estrogen. I don't know if people know this or not. So you get a bunch of dudes in a room. You get uh, a bunch of hyper uh, masculine men on the on the on the television doing the unbelievably. Uh, spectacular things that yeah. we can't do and and it creates sort of an inf inferiority complex mm. and uh and and so you, you and your buddies are all sitting around everybody's trying to have a good i mean you're having a good time but it, it, there's where are the women at where are the women at why do you have a bunch of dudes drinking alcohol looking at other dudes well bros before bros before hoes I'm just kidding. Right. Joking. And, and everybody's fat and everybody's feminized. And, and what are they trying to sell you? What do they say? They sell you pickup trucks. Yeah. The most, the most masculine thing. They, what they do is they, they want to rob your masculinity and then try to sell it back to you. That's my thing. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. And it's, and it's very subtle, but, in, but once you start looking at it, you start to see like, wait a second. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting drunk and I'm watching another dude with tights on. What you do just in tights. Yeah, it's a muscular dudes. Yep. <laughs> Let's be honest. There's, there's, you know, actually, so uh, that's my thing is they try to rob your masculinity and then sell it back to you in, in pickup trucks and beer and you know every other cool oh, type of thing, so you can try to like restore some of that that, that you don't even realize you lost. Yeah, so there's that's, also that's, like that's my conspiracy. Then there's also people that say it's like the new um, the gladiator gladiator and the Coliseum. It's like the new. That's just a re a new version of that. People say that. Um, and like, and like we said, guys, none of this is, we're just shooting off the hip here. Okay. We're just getting kooky, having fun. Um, but there's another thing too, that I thought was, uh, with, uh, oh, Key and Peele, right. They do like, they did a sketch show, but they had this awesome, uh, joke in there where these two old guys were commentating on a basketball game and they opened up and they said, uh, they go, all right, looks like the millionaires are ready to play their game. And <laughs> He was like, uh, we're all here to watch uh, grown men play a mere child sport. They basically just commentate, but in like a roasting way. Um, but it made so much sense. I was just like, I never really thought about that. Anyways, this guy's cutting out. We're going to get to the next guy. Thanks for coming on, Sean. I appreciate you. Uh, I think it's Sean. Or is that who? I don't know who it was. Sean. Was that Sean? Or is this Sean? Who was that last guy? I think the government's fucking with us right now, guys. Uh, Sneaky Pete, thanks for the four dollar four twenty. How you doing? Take a hit. Just kidding. Uh, solid channel. Enjoy the vids. Thanks for being here, man. Uh, appreciate the uh, the cashola. I really do. All right, we got David coming in hot. David, can you hear me? Hey, Jack. How's it going, buddy? Hey, we're getting kooky, man. We're going. It's going good, dude. Oh uh, uh, yeah. How old are you, and where are you hailing from, brother? I'm 39, and I'm on the opposite coast of uh, from where you are in Fort Myers. Okay, Florida boy, my man. Yeah, right, right across the way. <laughs> so, uh, do you know the topic tonight's topic? Is there any uh, conspiracy theories that you are particularly fond of? Something you want to, you know, just shoot off the hip and, you know, kind of just shoot it out there? Yeah, I'd love to talk about some of my actual like personal experience. Um, and it ties into um, like the technology that I think the the government has developed kind of in secret. Mm, and I like this. Yeah, no, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, so in 2016, I had the opportunity to work with a presidential candidate who was running an independent campaign. Uh, his name is Andrew Bashago. Okay. Uh, it's like Basiago, like Asiago cheese, but with a mm -hmm. B. You, you can the, Asiago, the Asiago boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can Google him. And um, he's been doing like lectures and stuff for years and years. Um, but what he talks about is how the government, um, when Nikola Tesla passed away, I believe it was in like the 1950s or so. Um, the government took 
Tesla's work and started developing that secretly in their underground bases and wherever. Mm. Um, so they have, um, from what he says, they have various modalities of time travel, teleportation, all kinds of stuff that I wouldn't doubt it. Privy to. Yeah. Like stuff that we can't even imagine. Like they're doing stuff with timelines, like back to the future type stuff. Oh, check, uh, check, check this, check this one out. So I did a, like a collab video with one of my friends and it was like an electric car type video, but, uh, I couldn't find the video cause I really wanted to tag it in his description, but basically this guy, right? So we could all say there's energy in the air, right? Uh, if that makes any sense, like lightning, thunder, yeah. like there's literally, you know, you could get zapped if a blankets or, you know, friction, you could literally, there's electricity in the air. Okay. That's what, what Tesla called the ether. Yes. The, the ether. Thank you. I said the same thing. Somebody roasted me for saying ether. So anyways, uh, beyond the ether, beyond the ice wall. No, but there's this guy in New Zealand, black dude, uh, genius of sorts. He created a generator that, and I've been trying to find this video. I cannot, I can't find it, but he created a generator that pulls strictly from the ether. There's no battery, none of that. And he said he woke up one day and he just like, or at night, he just had a vision and he just started messing with it and he actually got it to work. So he started out just powering like a lamp and then he started powering bigger things. So basically it got to the point where he got a bunch of people to invest and he was able to power 10 homes with this, this big generator that just sucks from the ether. Okay. So, so they were like, this is, this is revolutionary. And this isn't long ago. This is like, you know, maybe 10 years ago. So they said, if we could do this with 10 homes, he's like, we could do this with like a small car. So they made a small car and it literally no battery, nothing. And it just ran off of the ether. So get this though. So they're not allowed to, to make it on a mass scale or, or patent it because it defies the laws of physics. Well, it's high physics and yeah, I mean, they can't have us having free energy because no. then we would just, <laughs> you know, no, we would all prosper. No money, no money yeah. in that. No, no. So, and that's why they promote guys like Thomas Edison and Einstein, but what they're doing behind the scenes is tesla related stuff and what's funny is guys like elon musk with the tesla car brand the cars are charged by fossil fuel electricity if they were actual tesla vehicles they would just be absorbing energy from the ether and yeah. running themselves you yeah. know so I, yeah i don't think anything's uh you know nothing's new under the sun um, you know, everybody had fun, fun, fun to the grandma yeah. took the fun away. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ancient technology. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. And, uh, but you know, what's crazy is I don't know how to do any of this stuff. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, I had a friend, his name's, I'm not gonna say his name. His name is Troy. I'm not gonna say his last name, but when he was 13, so this is 21 years ago, he's my age. Uh, he created his own website, coded it himself. And then as he got older, um, this is before YouTube, he created his own YouTube, basically. And that's where us skateboarders would go post our videos. And it was like a small community, but it was cool because no one was really doing that. So when he got older, um, I ended up hanging out with him a bunch. I didn't know him when he made the website. I just knew he was a local and I could meet this guy, you know. So I meet him and he we're, we're skating one day and um, we're in his car and he pulls over and he something was up with his car. So he pops the hood and we go over there and he, he, he always drove Nissans. And so he made this contraption. It was a cylinder. It was half full of water and there was a ping pong ball in the middle with a little carburetor at the top, like a little hole. And so we're all sitting there like, yo, what the fuck you got a ping pong ball in here for? And this is a 17 year old kid. And he found out a way to reduce his gas and multiply his gas and double it simply with this little contraption. So he was able to get 70, 75 miles to the gallon. And this is, you know, this is a, quite a while ago. Um, but anyways, we, we all tried to get him to do it to our cars, but uh, 
he would never do it. And the long story short, that guy lives off the grid now. And he went as far to last time I heard, this could just be all conspiracy, but last time I heard, he went to the level where he copyright and copyright and trademarked his name, his full name, so that if a cop tried to write him a ticket, he could sue him. <laughs> yeah. Seems yeah. 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 He's full blown. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I agree with you on all of that. I think well, you look definitely you look back in history and uh, we've had electric cars since like the 1900s. Like the first vehicles were electric, water powered, and you know, they got us on these, they're trying to get us these electric vehicles that don't work now. And mm -hmm. it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, hey, so as much as I want to like, we're going to wrap on this. I'm going to get to the next guy. Everybody waiting in the queue. I'm getting to you. Um, as much as I like to, I want to like electric cars. I actually want to do a video on it. I just have to sit down and do it. I really want to like them, but, um, you know, you hear all this stuff where it's like, they're using more of, according to the sources I've heard, just people on the internet, um, they're using more gas and coal to make an electric bat this battery than yeah. they would just to make gas. And kids in Africa have to mine the the minerals out of the ground to produce these batteries. It's like, yep. yeah, it's, just it's like, very what's the bad. point? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, thanks for popping on, David. I appreciate yeah. you. I'm going to keep this show rolling. Thank you. All right. No problem, man. All right. We go. I'm going to send the link in the chat one more time. Guys, I'm getting to you. I see you in there in the queue. All right. Uh, and, uh, and anybody new here, basically, there's a link in the chat that will say StreamYard or something or other that I've sent. And you just click that, pop on, and you're more than welcome to jump in here. Uh, this one goes, someone tell me why it's okay for me not to be vaccinated for surgery during COVID, but everyone in, else in the hospital had to be vaccinated. Um, you know what? I don't know. And, you know, I'm one of those guys that didn't get the, um, the thing. And, uh, that was just kind of my choice. I was just kind of like, you know, and I, I'm not, I'm not doing it. And uh, I'm sure they already snuck it into me somehow, some other shape or form. But that's my kooky conspiracy on that. I'm not going to go any deeper than that. Um, I'm down almost 50, you know, 70 more pounds, just eating less shit. Oh, that's awesome. Lost 50 pounds. Wow. You got 20 more pounds to go for you. You're losing weight or gaining weight. Well, gaining weight, I mean muscle. Um, both of those things are extremely hard. So anybody on that mission, just keep going and it will happen. All right, we got the the vintage lord. What's going on, brother? Happening, Jack. How are you doing, dude? Getting kind of conspiracy theoryed out, dude. Oh yeah, brother. Um, so for the new people watching, how old are you and where are you hailing from? I am thirty-eight on that sweet level thirty-eight, dude. We're in Ohio right now. I'm at my house down in my basement, down in my uh, bunker, if you will. Okay, he's getting real kooky. Hi now, dude. I got the. You know, got the uh, security dog just in case things mm -hmm. get. I never know, dude. But uh, got it. Got a little different twist on it. Uh, uh, heading in, and you know, talking about just basically, you're talking about planned obsolescence. They they want things to break. They don't want things to last. They want you to stay in fear so you consume. Uh, and and one of the biggest uh, kind of things I found interesting was. The original in music, the original scale was called solfeggio, and it was in the frequency of the uh, 432 uh, frequency family, mm -hmm. which also includes the frequency of 528, which is the beams of light that the sun come down that make the plant life and everything happen. Now, sometime around World War II, when all the experimentation was going on, uh, I believe it was, you know, there's some debate, Goebbels or possibly the Rockefellers or maybe all in conjunction. They switched the standard tuning from 432 to 440. 440 hertz is a completely non-conducive frequency to the human body. Mm. It completely disaligned. I mean, again, we're talking about vibes, man, your vibes. And again, yep. you can say that's some hippy dippy shit. You can, they've done experiments on waves of water. If you, if you blast water with 432, it's perfect patterned and beautiful like actually very symmetrical yeah you guys could look this up this is like all over the place this is definitely you could even do it yourself 
Yeah, you blast it with 440, it's a mess. Now, why? Again, to keep people in a state of constant agitation. You notice when people listen to music the most, maybe when they're driving, yep. road rage, irritation, it's it's a heightened sense of just keeping people agitated and in fear and on edge and divided through uh, basically universal language. This is know? this is how I explain it to people real simply, okay? Um, just to – just anytime you talk um, like – Oh, music can make it. I go, I go, have you ever listened to a song and said, this song's making me, this song's making me tired. Like I'm going to pass out, like play something different. That's the truth. It's, it's really working. Like totally. that's, that's designed. So I've got, um, you can't see it, but I got like a big old speaker system here that plays cassettes and vinyl. So I got a lot of these old big band tapes, uh, full orchestra type tapes from the forties and thirties. And um, when you when I put it on, it's a totally it's a, a complete relaxing feeling. Um, unless they want you to feel up and dance, then they'll play music where it's up and dance. Uh, that's why if you go to a restaurant, let's say you go to a sports bar, they're going to a lot of restaurants play fast paced music because it makes you move faster. This is a real thing. Oh, same it, thing with retail. It makes per minute keep them shopping yep it makes you eat faster so yeah. so you go to a super fine dining restaurant they don't care if you eat slow and they're probably playing the piano because you're spending 70 80 dollars 100 dollars a person so that's fine but when it's a cheaper food they'll play that sure. upbeat music and then there's also music too right where it's um like a lot of rap music it makes you want like i've heard songs before and I'm not a violent guy. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll, you know, f you know, if I got to defend myself, fuck around, let's go. But I don't care if I win or lose. I'm not gonna be a bitch. But you know, when you listen to rap, I've I've heard so many songs where I'm like, I almost want to rob a bank right now. I want to literally yeah, punch froggy. somebody. A little froggy jack, dude. Mm hmm. I dig it. I dig it. But definitely, dude, that's where I'm at with it, man. Like, uh, and you, you look a lot of music today, dude. There's a lot of weird symbolism and just shit being said during shows like the artist saying they have these weird spells over these it's weird shit man i mean again there's a lot of stuff uh hidden in uh in music and you look back to to you know used to sound used to be like healing man with like the church cathedrals and the yep. huge organs and the pipes those were actually tuned to healing frequencies yep that Heal people in a church. Obviously, they were huge healing sonic centers, man. Now it's just literally uh, a barrage on the whole human psyche, dude. And people and people and the people would be like, "Oh, that's bullshit." They're the people who are blasting the 440 in their ears. And nope. if you, when you're saying you're listening to the older music too, if you try to play along with some of this stuff, it seems slightly out of tune. It is because they pitched it up to 440. Mm -hmm. So yeah, dude, it's, 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 a, it's a mass hysteria. Keep people in fear. They're going to consume. Yep. Um, and one more thing, you were talking about the, um, what's that called? The planned at uh, where they're making stuff to break. Planned obsolescence. Again, yeah. With every every product now, it's made with IKEA, dude. You you pull that stuff apart. It's perforated cardboard in between it. As you used to, you go out and you know you know old furniture. You yep. it's quality, man. It's made of oak. It's made of cherry yep. or something dope, man. Is uh cedar. You know this and chair, outside, real quick. Planned. This planned chair. This chair. Beautiful is, chair. I think it's probably from 80s, maybe. Um, all metal, all wood, all it's, leather. It's 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 legit. And also, like, that's why I collect this stuff. I'm odd. I know. Um, also, the resale value on it's pretty good. Not going to lie. But, but this stuff, you know, it still works. You know, like, this phone... There's going to come a day real quick. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold on. Holding, holding. My bad. Okay. So these aren't all my phones, but I have kept every phone I've ever owned. Okay. This phone no longer, it'll turn on, it'll work but you can no longer use it because of like he was talking about frequencies, frequency is gone. Signal okay. Gone. 
this phone will still plug in and will still work, but the frequency is gone. So they, and the, the cool thing about these phones is I could literally chuck this at the wall, fall apart completely, put it back together and then call somebody. Now, this is an old iPhone 3G, okay? This will not work if you put it on. It will not. You might be able to get Wi-Fi to it, but this even, and this isn't even that old, you know, or I guess it kind of is, but my point is, is they're making it to the point where this phone, like house phones, I'm not going to get up again because I do have an old house phone, a rotary. If I plug that in to the wall, there's no power. If I just plugged the actual Ethernet in there, the 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 phone line, it will still work. And it is a 70-year-old telephone. So so that's where we're getting. Like this iPhone 14, it's it's already fucking up on me. The the oh, yeah. uh, the volume lost half of its volume. I could barely hear on the motherfucker anymore. It's it's getting to th my laptop. I had a laptop, uh, Apple. Not kidding you. Six years old. I had to literally purchase a new one because that's how many problems I was having with it. Well, and then you take that to the store and, and you say, hey, I got this Apple laptop about six years old. They're like, oh, that's vintage. No, we don't mess with that. Literally. I, two, two great. And, and, and that's why I kept that one because this one here... That lasted me 10 years. Dude, get this, this is a quick little story I'll leave you with, man. I'll let yep. you go on the next people. I, yep. have a, I've, I had a really cool 1998 Range Rover. Finish your oh. car. And I'm telling you what, the Eddie Bauer edition, I loved it. The lock broke on it, and the anti-theft system kept going off, so it, it won't let me start it. I called Range Rover. They literally, like, basically laughed at me. They're like, your car's from 98? They're like, huh, we don't work on Range Rovers older than 10 years. I said, what? so who works on that? They said, it's a paperweight, guy. So I said, so you don't stand behind your products at all? Not at all, man. So planned obsolescence is the way. They want to resell you the same uh, re-box shit with a new adapter or a new nope. plug-in. Nah, ain't nope. happening. Go it, vintage, go analog. It's so crazy. It's And that's why when people ask me why I like this vintage stuff, I tell them the same thing. It's quality. It's quality control. And I'm not saying you can't buy quality shit nowadays. You can. But you're going to pay the price. Like the desk the desk that I have right now that you guys cannot see. Um, I paid up for it because it is solid metal. It It is like, you know, compared to the other desks I was looking at for 300, 400 bucks. Um, this one just... Like, I feel like I could pick it up and throw it, and it's going to be good. Um, it's still going to be a desk. Yeah, so it's I paid up. A lot of trouble. I paid up for it because of that. I'm like, I would rather pay more. It's like the old uh, expression. If you buy the $100 lawnmower over 10 years, you're going to buy probably five of those when you could have just bought the $500 lawnmower and had that for 10 years. It's, it's, hey, also that's that's just the uh, that's just the easy people want quick and easy man. They want that instant gratification nation. So take the quick, easy, uh, breakable route. We'll replace it in a year. Who cares? Uh, straight up. Anyways, uh, Josh, appreciate you hopping on, hey, brother. You guys, you guys can go just, check out his. Just. Oh shit! He lost. He we lost him. Johnny Tattoo Head. Thanks for the two dollars, brother. I really appreciate you. Uh, means a lot, man. Um, we got a, Robert. I'm getting to you next, brothers. So just be patient. Uh, poke life lessons with the five hot ones from downtown. F uh, fine, take my money, whatever. Rich, classic. His name was my name too. I had somebody in the comments go, "Yo, what's up with the uh uh?" Because <laughs> what's up with the God Bless America Jingleheimer remix? I was like, dude, it just happened. I got another one that I never do to you guys. I go, uh, Akuna Matata, come on, baby mama. Yeah, sounds like it works. I should bust that one out more often, you know. But we'll keep it we'll keep it between us for now. All right, we got Robert coming in hot. Hey, how's my audio? Hey, you sound crispy, man. Robert. All right. How old are you, and where are you hailing from, brother? I'm 42 years old, and I'm hailing from Columbus, Georgia. All right, got a good old Georgia boy coming in. 
All right. So uh, tonight's topic, as you could tell, is uh, conspiracies. You got any? You got any crazy, kooky ones you want to lay out tonight? Uh, well, um, really, actually, two of them, two conspiracies. <laughs> well, the first one is, uh, I think, I think the government wants to keep us in debt. Oh, you absolutely, know. thousand percent, <laughs> thousand percent. I don't even know if that's a conspiracy. I think that's just. Like, you know, we hear about like, oh, we're trillion dollars in debt, all this mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, hold on. I get punished when I don't save my money. Yeah. But but you guys end up getting paid more when you don't save mm -hmm. your money. I go, what in the shit is going on here? <laughs> it's like, it's like if I say I can't pay my, my mortgage, I lose my house. But if this big conglomerate says files bankruptcy and um you know uh loses everything and they mm -hmm. spent all their money all of a sudden they go congratulations you yeah. win more money and here's a, <laughs> and here and here's a ferrari and yeah. i'm sitting here like what like okay so i totally agree with you what's your second one because that one's totally true <laughs> the second one is um you noticed in the media and every Social media and everything uh, is a is an attack on masculinity, men in particular. I think so. Yeah, I, I, I think it's actually both. It's a it's an attack on both because mm -hmm. um, we're just getting kooky here. OK, no big deal. <laughs> All hail Google. Um, sorry, I got to cover my tracks here, guys, um, because it's like one. They're like they want girls to be guys. And yeah. they want guys to be girls, um, which is totally cool. Gay is good, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Um, well, I don't care if anyone's, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I just say that just so I don't get in trouble. But, um, but yeah, like you think about it, it's like they want the women to be the men and then they want men to be women. Yeah. And, then, and then people are actually doing it. That's the funniest mm -hmm. part. Uh, which is totally cool. You want to do that? Go ahead. You know, um, I, I, you know, I, I kind of get it, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, I think it's, it's affecting the, the society in the long run because, uh, because you look at the military, military has in its the lowest, you know, I guess recruitment rate in years. And, uh, and look at the trades and not too many people going into trades. No, so, I, but you know, what's cool though is now that we're like we're at a point now where we all have, we all have so much reach and we're able to do this right now like you could pop in, mm -hmm. in here i've never even met you before but we're able to come in here and spitball right yeah um so i think the cool thing is is that a lot of people are are kind of you know i don't want to say snapping out of it mm -hmm. like but they are you know especially a lot of younger kids um because now because i try and you know, I'm still involved in skateboarding and stuff. So I still have access to a lot of younger people. And even this kid I just hired to help me edit videos, not my long form videos, but he's helping mm -hmm. me edit the short form stuff. Yeah. Um, he's, you know, it's nice to see a nice 21 year old kind of, you know, he sees through, he sees through the hocus pocus. Yeah. So I'm like, and it's really nice because they have as much access as we do. Yeah. Um, so whenever they feel like calling bullshit and Santa's not real and, you know, the stork didn't drop me off to mm -hmm. my parents, they're able to go and find stuff like how we're talking and kind of have an open mind about it. So I think mm -hmm. that's kind of the, um, which is definitely if there were powers that be a bunch of guys sitting around a table or whatever, uh, they definitely don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> for, for sure. Uh, anyways, I got some more people in here. You want to say one final thing before I let you go here, brother? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to say, uh, just ask people to stay at it. You know, I'm big on Dave Ramsey. Just, you know, keep your expenses small and just stay out of debt. Damn you right. Know, like, like you say, a um, um, man with, uh, I guess, I a forgot man, what you said. A, a man with no bills is a rich man. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I like. You know? and, I'm, and, and, you know, I said in the last video I posted, I'm starting to, you know, as much as I want to preach that, it's getting to a point where, you know, even the necessity bills that you kind of can't get around, those are just, they're creeping, man. They're yeah. just creeping. And I'm just, 
you know, and then, and then you feel like, uh, what is that? Uh, you feel like it's on you or it's like, well, I just got to yeah. make money. <laughs> But then it's like, how you know, how far can we stretch that? But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go, Robert. I appreciate you, All right. brother. I appreciate it. All right, mine. Okay, we got Tattoo Head Johnny with two hot ones. Music predicts the future. I think you're onto something there, brother. Uh, I don't know if I already let this Dave guy on, but I'm gonna bring him back. I can't remember. If you guys could show your face, that'd be awesome. But we are getting conspiracy, and I don't want anybody, you know, having a hit piece on. All right, Dave, can you hear me? Hey, what's up, Jack? It's Dave from Hawaii. My bad. I'm in the car, so. Ah, hey, Dave from Hawaii, my boy. All right, brother. So, you know, tonight's uh, tonight's topic, we're getting kooky. Is there anything out of this realm that you want to, you know, oh, speak yeah. on? Um, I have a good friend, and he's not, he's a smart guy. He doesn't believe in, like, some of the crazy, crazy conspiracies, but he does think, and he always looks up at the sky and goes chemtrails. Mm, chemtrails. You know? And they've they've actually already came out about that. You could like this has already been so this isn't even a conspiracy theory anymore. This is just real. The chemtrails. Yeah. Show, if they want to put something in the sky, they can just put it up in the jet fuel. Yeah. And like they're just sprinkling shit on us. They're just going, here you go. There's a little mm -hmm. stuff for you. You know and what I mean? It's funny because I, I have a funny story, which is similar but different. Uh, one time I was hanging out at his house, and it was a couple buddies. And it was one of those nights where like 10 satellites in a row, perfectly spaced out, came across over his house. Oh, good God. And in my head, I'm like, okay, the satellites are just, you know, going around the earth. They're in a straight line. But, you know, he's like, oh, you know, the government's doing something, you know. I don't doubt it. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. But, yeah, the whole chemtrail thing, um, I don't know how much I believe it, but. If they wanted to put something in there, they could, you know. Okay, so like one, you go, well, why in the shit would they do that? You know? And then and then two, you go, then you go, well, I mean, if it's a way to, you know, control people or you know, um, you know, I really don't know what it is. Like I've thought about it and I've gone, like, what could it possibly be that they're spraying up there and why? Um, but, but you guys can look this up. It's, they've come out. It's, it's a real thing. Like they, they spray, they're spraying something like, I don't know what, but they're spraying something up there. Um, but that's like the, I don't know. The ultimate question is what the hell is it and why? So is chemtrails your big one right now? You got another one you want to shoot out there? No, that's pretty much it. It's not really mine. As I have a buddy that's really into it, and he's probably he's probably read everything you're talking about. You know, no, oh, I'm he's sure he's into it way more than me. He's explaining it to me, and I'm like, I don't know, man. It might be too much, but yeah, I, I you know what? Like I said, guys, like I have a huge open mind, and I don't actually, you know, a lot of the stuff I don't know. I don't know. People go, do you believe in flat Earth, or round Earth, or any Earth? I just go, I I don't know anymore. You know what I mean? I really don't. I've never been high enough up in the up in the air to see for myself <laughs> um like i just don't know um i did think one time though i got real kooky i was watching um one of those santa claus movies with tim, tim allen and so like in the north pole in the movie hear me out here he he there's like this dome overneath the the uh, over the north pole and so when tim allen flies out in his sleigh a piece of the the dome comes down and he flies out and it reattaches. And, and right before that they were messing around with snow globes. And I was like, wow, could you imagine if a snow globe was an accurate representation of where we live? Like that's trippy shit. I'm not saying I believe that I'm just <laughs> saying, you know, just somebody going, yeah, let it rain. Motherfucker. You, feel <laughs> yeah. that? you know what I mean? You want some hurricanes? Do you? Uh, anyways, I just more of a joke, but I thought, you know, I was like, that could be trippy because they call it a globe, but then they call a snow globe a globe. So it's like, is that a globe or, uh, but anyways, David, I appreciate you popping in. I got a bunch of, yeah, man, thanks for here. having me on, man. It's a good show today. I like it. Hey man, you know what? I was, it's I flowing. Was, yeah, I was really, I was percolating earlier. I'm going, what do I talk about tonight? What is it? Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> later, Dave, enjoy your, uh, Hawaii, uh, your, you know what? Get out of here, dude. You just live right, man. Peace. All right. Peace, man. Alberto with the five hot ones from uh, the Windy City, uh, Chicago. Uh, Pedo Island and the whole Epstein shit goes deeper. Oh, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Who fucking knows anymore? Appreciate the five bucks. 
And uh, I hope none of that stuff's true, to be honest with you guys. Um, I, I, you know, I, it's hard for me to wrap my head around that one. Uh, that's a hard one to think about. No one want, really wants to think about that, even though it's important. But at the same time, you're going, God, you know, really? You know what I mean? Um, hey, Leonard, my boy. What's up, brother? I haven't seen you in a while. Um, this guy goes, the earth isn't moving. They brainwash everyone in the public school system to believe in evolution. Yeah, you know, I could go down that rabbit hole. Sometimes you think like, well, they want us to think we're nothing and, you know, nothing's real and we're here for no reason. Anyways, could be true. I don't know. You know, I hope not. I heard somebody say once that they hope when you die, it's just nothing. But like, I'm on the side of the fence where I'm like, if we're really here for no reason, I'm going to be pissed off. I'm going to be, I'm, you guys think I get mad in the episodes I film breaking shit. Oh no. If we're here for no reason, I'm going to, oh, I'm just kidding. I probably won't do anything. All right. We got Doug coming in hot. Doug, can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, Doug, my boy for the new people here. How old are you? And where are you hailing from? Uh, 55 from Texarkana, Texas. God damn, Texas. What you know? Texas, you... Pete, Louisiana, ski. What you know? God, God damn. So, anyways, you know tonight's topic, and uh, is there anything you got on your mind, or one of your favorites, or something? Oh, that... I got, I got a lot. I'm just gonna hit you with a bunch now. I like the recent one that they have uh, the aliens that showed up at the Bayside Mall, right? Mm. That's a good one. Um, they, uh, if you take the coordinates, longitude and latitude for the Bayside Mall, and you flip them. Right in the middle of Antarctica. So then you can find the alien base just like that. Just like that. They put in the wrong coordinates the aliens did and ended up there at the mall going, what happened? You think so? They, yeah, were, they were like, well, they were like, well, while we're here, we may as well hit the food court. That's right. right. Might did something else. Yeah, yeah. You can't get Sabaros on Saturn. And there, you know I got right? some more. Uh, maybe the, I heard someone earlier talk about immigration. Maybe it's because the the Democrats are trying to get more people into red states to turn the states so the voters and they have a super majority. There's uh, one. I haven't even heard the big one yet tonight. 9-11. No oh, one's talked about that at all, right? Blowing um, shit up. Well, there you go. So it could be maybe that the government was in on it and that they had to change the hearts and minds of the American people to go to the Middle East to change uh, nations to keep them on the petrodollar. Mm. You like that one? Oh, he's firing them off. I'm trying my best. Um, deep state Illuminati running the country. What about mm. that one? Uh, you were talking earlier with somebody about uh, how things don't last. Uh, that's totally true. My cell phones must have a self-destruct button at three years because every three years, mine seems to go out and I need to buy a new thousand dollar cell phone. Um, at the same time, I have a 95 Ford F-150 that I still drive today. Wait, what year is it? 95 i bought it new in 1995 it's in my garage started up passes inspection driving around town to this very day um i think other car they build cars with computer parts today that won't last you know eight yeah. or nine years the uh the dude i know a lot of you guys are familiar with red from chow time his youtube channel he sent me one last night it was a news a news story about uh ford they have a new self-driving element on their new cars. And if you don't make your payment, the car will simply repo itself and drive it, <laughs> drive it away. Drive it back. Well, mine's a stick shift, so no one can drive it. Yeah. I've tried to give it to both my kids and they're like, and it ain't happening, dad. So I just keep driving that thing around. You, know? You, it's, it, you know what though? You got to love it, man. Cause um, I got a 1985 caddy and uh, the engine blew and needs, you know, needs to get fixed. But it's it's awesome though that the, like the quality of it though the interior, the bot the body it's like fully metal. Like if somebody hits me, I mean if they're in a Tesla, then we're probably equal because those things are heavy. But um, compared to a lot of cars though, this thing is like a tank. Like good luck if we ever get in we get into a collision. Like your car's not going to be good. Yeah, that ninety five Ford F one fifty I have is a tank for sure, and it keeps driving. Let's see if I got any more. How about uh, our friend from Germany uh, es escaped to uh, Argentina, right? Oh. And uh, the skull that the Russians took back to Russia 
we had some researchers from a college here went and actually investigated it, scraped it, and found out that the DNA was a woman's skull. Oh, wow. Right. So that's a good one. What else have I got? Area 51, we were told how long it never existed. And now we're told stay away or they'll do something to you because it exists. Right. Yeah, if you drive, like, if you ever drive across, uh, like in the middle of the country, like, I forget exactly where Area 51 is. But there's um, just miles upon miles of government um, signs saying they'll eventually apprehend you and possibly shoot you. It's real. I've oh, yeah, it's it there. Twice. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and yeah it, it's, it's there. miles upon miles long. I mean, it's you know fenced off. Not a huge fence. You can you could jump it if you want, but I mean, you know. What am I going to do? Get a good view of the new stuff they're building? I don't know. Yeah, The bold and the beautiful is going to jump that shit. I'm good, man. I'm just... What else? Tracking us on all our phones, right? Snowden uh, came out and said, they're doing that to you. Uh, how, I've taken my phone. I have I don't own a cat. I've talked about cat food and how much I want cats. And all of a sudden, here come my ads about cat food. Yep. Right? It happens to all of us. Oh, yeah. So. A thousand percent. And, so. they, and they tell you, too, like... Uh, they, they tell you about it. Well, they're, they do now, yeah. yeah At first, it was like, we don't track you on our cell phones. Like, what they gave them to us for. Yeah, there, <laughs> there's a there's a website. God, I fucking shit. I, I need to start saving this stuff and writing it down because it gets so much information you forget. But there's a website now you could just log in. And it's kind of like a video, like a chat roulette where random things are popping up. But basically, the site is like AI generated to where it's just popping into people's devices. So they don't even know they're on this. So it's like people watching a secret TV show that other people don't even know that it's happening. So um, it was, I had a movie. Oh, I forgot it. Whatever. It'll come to me in a minute. That's but, a trippy uh, site though, man. I'm just sitting there like the oh. JFK, right? Uh, if you've ever been to Dallas, been to the grassy knoll and you go to the books depository and you see the X's out on the street where he was shot. And then you go up to the fence on the grassy knoll. It's like, Clearly, there was somebody at the fence. You stand at the fence and see the X. You're like, oh, this is where the shooter was. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and you go try and go a block and a half away to the building up on the whatever floor. You're like, no way. But whatever. Those are just all fun conspiracies I'm trying to throw out there. Hey, we're having a good time here. Just letting see it roll. If, see if someone can say something to them, right? Hey, who you know what's up and what's down anymore? I have no idea. Like, like this person said it really good. They go, time does not exist. You exist in permanent time while all around changes, giving the illusion of time. That's right. There is no, there is no future and there is no past. I know. I know. Well, you tell that to my, uh, my ex-girlfriend when, uh, Oh, no, there's a past. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Tell <laughs> no, my favorite, my favorite though is like, time's not real and neither is money. And I was like, well, tell your landlord that. That's right. See if he, see if, you know, cause she ended up getting evicted out of her apartment. She actually ran into her recently and she's doing good. I'm happy for her. She's Money's not real. Me. It's just no. a piece of paper. The king has no clothes. Uh, it's the good faith of the American people. Yeah. You believe a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars because you believe it has value. Yeah. That's it. So oh. I'll take your hundred dollars if you don't believe in it. Just saying. Oh yeah, yeah, for real. Well, well, I guess I guess that's going the other way around too now, because now people are believed a hundred dollars is not worth anything. So I guess yeah, that, I that think be true too. I think if you had a a, a a Spanish galleon from the 1600s out in the Gulf of Mexico that sunk and has a a box of gold coins and a box of paper money from Spain, and you came and found it today as a treasure and pulled it out, that paper money's just wet, soggy, nothing, but the gold bullion is still valuable today. Oh, yeah. I'm a big Spanish galleon kind of guy. That's right. Big time Spanish galleon. Get you the metal detector and just start working the beaches. Oh, yeah. Uh, Doug, you came in here hot, man. I loved it. Thanks for popping okay. on. Get to the next person. All right. Thank you. Till next time, brother. A good one. Peace. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Uh, rough girl, you're up next. I see you. Give me one moment here. Boom, boom, boom. Diddly do. Time is a man made concept. Yeah. I'm trying to measure something that doesn't exist. Uh, radio transmission that got stolen and credited to someone else. Cool. 
I'm gonna try and go through some of your guys' comments real quick. Rough girl, you're up next. Just hold on one moment. Mm -hmm. da -da -da. Boom, boom, boom. Well, this one's trippy. Everything's a simulation except the statement you are reading, which is a non-simulation truth by a simulation course. Trippy shit. I don't even know what that means, but I like it. Fun fact. The year... Oh, is this the same guy? Uh, the year on the U.S. currency note is a timestamp of the note value. Example, a 2008 $100 note value is $138 today, and you can actually turn it into the U.S. Treasury Department. Really? Well, in that case, I'm going to have to go through all my bills. That would be funny, though, if they actually did that. Uh, okay, don't lick your fingers after eating Cheetos. Okay, I believe it. Shouldn't even be eating Cheetos. All right. Okay. Comment section's rough. All oh. right. Rough girls on the track. Thanks for being so patient. Um, Hello. Where, where are you hailing from? I'm at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. All right. So, you know tonight's topic. Are there any uh, kooky yes. conspiracies you want to? Okay. Uh, money. Let's talk about money. Let's um go. They're trying to do the central money thing so that they can stop people. They're trying to track every dime you spend, which is why they're like anything over $600 into cash app and everything. They want to know about it. And that's why they put a limit on it. And um, so I would tell everybody, keep your cash, get them cash before they do go to this centralized money. And they're clocking every dime you spent so that they can try to issue everyone a living wage so they can keep everybody poor. And I know you guys get on here and you dog women out quite a lot. And I actually sent you an email like after you first came on and you were talking about debt. So I would like to say, black women, get your ass out of debt. Stop buying hair. Stop with the BBL. It's only going to make you fat. Go work out and um, focus on your health. Let's do this. And I honestly think that there's such an attack on manhood and the American family that they don't want us to be together. They don't want us to get together and procreate and create a strong bond and communicate with each other and create great neighborhoods because neighborhoods build strength, they build wealth, they trade amongst each other. And that's what makes us a good community, not only a community from within each city, but from state to state. Yep. Um, I'm glad we had the internet because it allows us to communicate with each other and, you know, at least keep that semblance of solidarity. And I'm really glad that you're doing what you're doing um, because I'm really freaked out. I'm hearing everything on the internet about Nephilims, angels, aliens, yep. um, giants, and it's freaking me the hell out. Yeah. So, and between that and the bad food that they're giving us and what they're what they're trying to pump in our bodies, in our children's bodies and what they're doing with our schools by telling the children, oh, you can be anything you want to be. You want to associate you want to you think you're a dog or a Furby will give you a litter box. Yep. I think that there's a undercurrent of trying to destroy us as beings, as Americans and as humans so that we can't succeed so we can't be like our ancestors were like our parents were work hard live well and you know pass on our riches to our our children so yep. I, I i got out of debt this year i paid off my home and wow I, congrats I'm, yeah i'm sorry and i'm completely um just I'm done with like all my credit cards. So guys, don't think that all of us women out there just want you for your money. Some of us just want companionship and we understand that we need male and females to get this to going on. So, oh, yeah. you know, just give us a break a little bit because y'all really get, get when y'all start on women, I feel really bad. Like it makes me feel like really discouraged. <laughs> no, no. You know what it is though? Cause you know, I've said this all the time, you know, there, I, I'm a relationship guy. I believe in it. I still know that there's good women out here. I meet them all the time. Um, it just sucks because it's gone both ways with that. Yeah. And for the record, I totally agree with you on um, <laughs> uh, keeping everything you said. You know, I, I, I agree with you. They don't, you know, they used to promote families. And now they don't. And it's working. It's working. It's, it's working really well and it goes for men too. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, like sex, I've never seen so much, um, 
I get mm -hmm. it. Sex sells. But like, I'll go on Netflix at my girlfriend's house and it's just like every other show is like Sex Island or, you know, everything, everything. It's all, it's all just um, to the point where it's like, you know, now that if you're in a relationship or if you are married, you're actually um, now you're in the uh, I don't want to say minority like that, but you're now like I feel like it's it's more normal now to be single than to be in a relationship, which I don't think it was ever that way before. Or and at least it's sad. It's sad. They're I promoting know. all these. And I feel bad for like my culture because they're promoting horrible um, music from like um, this this sexy red crap and yep. it's disgusting because women are well some women are feeding into this thinking oh it's a hot girl summer I can do what I want to do no ho you cannot do what you want to do you cannot go out and screw all these guys thinking that you're going to have a great body count because AIDS is still out there yep. and here in North Carolina like we have one of the toppest rates for um stds around the military base because these guys are everywhere and uh, as a person who just retired i could tell you they're buck wild around here and it's not just <laughs> jeffrey epstein's island that has all this crazy pedo stuff it's in almost every community but it's hidden the more money you make and i've been in some weird circles the more money that you're around the more crazy stuff is going to pop off because they have nothing to do. They get bored. So they want to test the limits of what they can and can't do. I don't I've doubt seen it. it. I've seen it. I I've don't seen doubt it, it in the military community. I've seen it in, I'm a skydiver. I've seen it in the skydiving community. Oh, nice. And it's just, I mean, Florida, I love Florida. It's great jumping down there. Um, so uh, don't let your stereotypes get the best of you. I'm a black woman who skydives. I have good credit. I have a great home. I have my own stuff. And I think that we should promote that. We should promote everyone living a good, clean life. You don't have to be a Mormon, but you. it would be great if we could all just, you know, let the little sexy crap go and live a basic normal life where we're not promoting um, our daughters whoring themselves, excuse me, um, not whoring themselves. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to say, but we're not promoting the over-sexualization of minors. You know, you know, what's crazy. I'm going to, I got a bunch of people in the queue. I'm going to end on this note. Bye. Bye. No, no, no. Uh, last, uh -huh. last thing. So I ended up, so I had, I had reacted to a clip of these girls twerking for breast cancer. Right. And it was like a big sorority and they're all dressed like, you know, hoochie mamas. And they're just literally twerking in the name of breast cancer. Okay. So I react to it and I just was like, made a joke. And I was like, you know, to think there was a time in life where we would just go for a walk and a run. A fundraiser. Yeah. And you know, this is what it's come to. And, uh, but I had somebody actually comment, on the video and they were like you don't support breast cancer and you're mocking these women and i was like i was like what are you talking about <laughs> i was like i was like ra at raise money at what cost anyways i thought that was hilarious thank you so much for popping no on problem. i i you that was wonderful you really fired them off there that was great thanks for having me Bye. no problem see ya all right, this guy goes, I'm going to get to you, Vinny, next. I see all you guys in the queue. I'm making it to you. Uh, this dude goes, laid off from my job, and I'm munching on classic poor people food, rice. Um, actually, an, even a fun fact for you, um, there's a documentary on this about centurions, people who lived 100 or older. And the number one place is, I believe, Okinawa or somewhere over there, somewhere in Asia. And... Um, you know what their main staple is for their diet? It's rice. It's rice. So don't feel bad about that. You're actually doing yourself a favor. I think white rice probably isn't the best, though. I want to do brown rice. Um, I could be wrong. Who knows anything? <laughs> All right. We got Vinny coming in hot with the classic anonymous. I love it. That's beautiful. Well, you know, his name is uh, V, so Vinny, you know. V, v, v for Vendetta, my man. <laughs> That's awesome. Uncle Jack, how you doing, Uncle Jack, tonight? Hey, I'm, doing, I'm doing great, brother. So uh, how old are you and where are you hailing from? Oh, I'm 24 and hailing from uh, Ohio. Oh, Cincinnati Slim. I like it. Nice. 
So, so what's so what's um what's, well what's been percolating on your mind here? Well, there's a lot of you know the numbers. Everybody's talking about numbers. So mm -hmm. if you talk about that, uh, you know, people who believe in the Bible say man was made on the sixth day. So you know, people believe in six six six. All the sixes that we see stay six feet away. You got the c word. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, Seriously. yeah, it's 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 in our face for a reason. A lot of these numbers, um, and I know in Ohio, in Cleveland, the Rockefeller Building sits on West Six and Superior Street, which is odd. And the Federal Reserve Building in Cleveland sits on the East Six Street and Superior. So words like that, Superior Six, you know, Superior of Man, the Rockefeller Building, the Federal yep. Reserve Building. And then another number that's pretty famous is 12. You know, there's 12 disciples in the Bible. There's 12 zodiac signs. There's 12 months. You know, it, it goes, it goes, and it goes. It goes, it goes deep. It's to a point where it's, it's like, is that a coincidence or? Right. Is, is then, it really? And there's also 12 Federal Reserve buildings in all of the United States. Huh. So they like to put that kind of stuff, you know, all right around. there in your face. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Another six is there's six monies. Um, Wait, six, six monies, like six different kind of currencies. No, uh, our one dollar bill, five dollar bill, ten dollar bill, twenty dollar bill, fifty dollar bill, hundred dollar bill. That makes six bills. Wow. You know, little stuff like oh, that. Wait, are there six coins, too? Let's count those out. You got a penny, you got a nickel, um, uh, you got a dime. Okay, you got the quarter, you got the half dollar, and you got the dollar coin. Wow, see what I'm saying? I'm the money. <laughs> okay, I have six brothers and sisters. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I never even thought I. That's something new. I've never but heard the, that but one. The, uh, with but the, the money. I never yeah, heard but, that one before. But the big one was like you know staying six feet away. I thought that was kind of odd. And why not seven feet away before I can go check out and buy a can of pop? You know? Yeah. That kind of thing. I thought that was a little weird. And also, like, um, in Cleveland, uh, Rockefeller's buried there. And he his monument is a, is a Egyptian obelisk. And I always wonder why a dead white guy would want an Egyptian obelisk as his tombstone. You know what's trippy about tombstones? That is very odd. Was the, the guy who invented NASA, his, his tombstone has the Bible verse that says... Uh, the firmament is God uh, shows God's handiwork, which the oh, firmament wow. in the Bible is right. the the ceiling. But remember, guys, we're just getting kooky here. Okay, yeah, it's just it's just kooky we're just stuff. Getting, we're just getting weird, you know. We're just getting weirded out. But um, but I thought that was crazy. I didn't know about that one though. That's a yeah. Note. And then like you know, the Washington Monument is obviously an Egyptian obelisk. The pyramids on the back of the one dollar bill. Why would a country want that? If we have nothing to do with Egyptian culture. You That's know. true. You ever hear the uh, conspiracy where they say that Egypt's really in like Arizona or something? <laughs> that'd be that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like. It's like uh, we think it's somewhere else, but it's really – that's the original. Or like where the Grand Canyon is. Like that's like a conspiracy. I've heard that one uh, a few times. And I and was then, like, oh, could be. And they always say about the planets, well, we got like eight planets. But if you don't count the sun, that's seven. So, you know, there's seven days in the week. They always say like Saturn means like uh, – uh, Saturday and the sun really means Sunday. You know, it's like, oh yeah, it, it, yeah. Mars means like Monday. It's 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 like you know all that kind of that weird stuff like that. All that trippy shit. You know, another one that's kind of trippy too is the uh, like the calendar. How they said there's originally 13 months. Right. Um, I forget. There's actually I think it might be like Uruguay. It's somewhere. Some like kind of third worldish. It might not even be third world. But they still run on the 13 month calendar. They're like the only place left. Um, they, it, it exists. And, uh, but basically, what they say is, it's like, like to break it down easy, oct, like October, octagon, oct is eight. November would be nine. December is like dec, deca, 10. Mm. And those, and, and October is obviously not the eighth month, you know. But uh, apparently, according to, my internet sources, the back alleyways of the interwebs, 
apparently I think April is technically uh, the beginning of the year because mm, okay. and plus it's springtime too. So everything comes to life kind of makes sense, but I don't know if it's true. You know, I don't, I have no idea. Um, and, most, and most people, they, um, they know about this one, but you know, the Apple, uh, Apple phones, it's a bit in Apple fall of man, that kind of deal. You know, a lot of people think, uh, like Walmart means martial law backwards and that's where they're going to put all of us when s stuff happens oh, in the country. You know, what's funny is, um, <laughs> We actually, when I lived in Cali, this is years ago, um, I actually went down that rabbit hole of those Walmarts. Yeah, the tunnels or and something. So, <laughs> and, so, and so, well, well, that they were turning them into like concentration oh, yeah, yeah. camps or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I actually knew of a closed down one on the way to go out to Joshua Tree, which is in the desert. And so one day just for fun, I had nothing to do. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to check that shit out. And uh, I thought it was so odd because there was a security guard there. And it's a, mm. it's a closed down Walmart. And then they had like all these fences and shit. And so it really wigged me out. And then uh, I made the mistake of trying to talk to somebody about it. Um, <laughs> never do that. Uh, unless you're somewhere, you like, somewhere <laughs> like this where, you know, it's kind of like, hey, let's just come in here with an open mind. I'm not saying it's true or not. Let's just think about it. Um, but like I ended up taking my cousin with me because he thought I was nuts. And I go, bro, I was like, I, I went. I was like, there's actually another one. We can go check out the other one. I didn't even look at this one. So we pull up. We go to the closer one first, and we were already wigged out because there was a security guard in that one too, and we got kicked off the property. Two for two. Yeah, yeah. so then we pulled up to the other one, and then we we didn't even drive in because I was like, I was like, look, we already got kicked out of the other one, but I think you're getting catching my drift here. I go, this is just – I just wanted to point it out to him that it was really weird. Yeah. It's just it's super strange. I mean, I know for sure they got contracts with FEMA because that's when, you know, disasters happen. You can go there and stuff yeah. like that. So who who knows? You know, this kind of stuff ain't for this kind of YouTube talk. But yeah, <laughs> look, we're just getting kooky. Sometimes I, you know, I want I'd like to make more of these conspiracy type videos, but I just, you know, it's also like I don't want to brand myself just on it. But you yeah. guys know, by the way, I talk and how I do stuff that, you know, you know, did Lance Armstrong ride a bike to the moon or not? You know, I like to get weird. People like the um, Super Bowl ones coming up. Oh, you, you know, saw that, right? There's going to be like, um, say, if like the San Fran team wins and you got the Chiefs, that's a lot of red and Las Vegas, you know, Sin City type deal. Mm. Bruno, Bruno Mars sung uh, Locked Out of Heaven, like Locked Out of Heaven with a bunch of kids, you know. That's some it's, trippy shit, man. <laughs> you know, it's just That's like, some weird. It, it, hey, you know what, though? It's like, hey, Van Halen already made a song about it. Run right. with the devil, baby. <laughs> Anyways, Vinny, I'm going to let you go. We got more awesome. people waiting in the queue. I appreciate you jumping on, man. Always, always. Peace. Peace. All right. Thanks for the two big ones from Jackson Cagle from downtown. Weird stuff. I'm in. Yeah, you know, I like to get kooky sometimes, you know, just keep it fun. Um, introduced, thanks for the five bucks from, uh, Murph Wilds here. Introduced my boyfriend to your show today. He approves. You made him laugh, keeping it light, keeping it fresh, keeping it loose, keeping it funky, keeping it kooky. I uh, appreciate the five bucks. I really do. It means a lot. Uh, Mojo Dojo coming in hot with another $5. You go, I got beamed out of the chat right before I showed the alien. Uh, <laughs> they are on to us. Oh, that's, that's rich. It's rich, robust, and rewarding. All right, we got another guy coming in here. Yo. Hey. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing awesome, man. Uh, where are you hailing from? Uh, I'm in uh, the United States. I'm 28 years old. Um, I'm 5'8". I'm a short king, but, you know, hanging in there. Hey, 5'8", five, hey, five, you're, 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 you're tall compared to some of these guys out here. Yeah, I tell everyone I'm 6'6", six, six, but I am 5'8". So. <laughs> <laughs> Even though my personality screams six eight, you know, Mom. but uh, so I have a uh, obviously I, I'm I have all the conspiracies, but I think the main one, um, I was obsessed with truth and I'm, I was obsessed with science growing up, and um, science unfortunately it just tells you what things are, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and you find out with the Schrodinger equation, right, the double slit experiment, uh, and several other you know conspiracies or not conspiracies theories uh is that the atom i guess if you look at it 
if you look at an atom, it like behaves differently versus when you don't look at it, right? They have equations where if you don't look at it and you just shoot atoms up against a wall, it makes like several different lines versus when you start looking at the atom, uh, it behaves just like a regular, like normal physics. You know, they even say that classical mechanics, which is the realm that we live in versus quantum mechanics are two different worlds, right? Mm. And they try to, they try to combine the two. I know this is high level stuff, but uh, when they try to combine the two, but they can't, right? And gravity, by the way, is just a theory, right? They haven't found that you know gravity particle. You know what's funny about that? I what? said that to somebody close to me because they were, um, you know, like I said, you can't just walk around town talking about, um, you know, riding a bike to the moon and all this shit. Yeah. You can't, you can't do it. But they brought it up to me. Yeah. And then I said, and all I said was, well, you know, gravity is just a theory. Right. Yep. And I go, but we believe that. Yeah. I hate, so this, I hate it. This person, <clears throat> this person literally we're fine. We're cool. Like mm -hmm. everything's fine. But for like a cool hour or what felt like a day, this person like literally, it was almost like I attacked their. Oh, they, they straight up, they straight up morph into agent Smith. Yeah. I was they like, turn into demons. I was like, I was like, dude, I, I don't know. I was like, yeah. I, I'm just like, look it up. I don't know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, I, I, I hate how the science community, they, uh, they're so prejudiced towards if you say God or if you say even magic, like voodoo and stuff. Yeah. They, they're like, ah, oh, well, you can't measure that. And, but, but they use gravity because it answers most of their questions. By the way, stuff, if you use, if you, if you just live your life based off the things so you can touch, taste, see, and measure, you're going to miss half reality. Because there are things I can't even hear. There are there are colors we can't even imagine. Like cats can hear certain sounds that we can't, right? Oh, I'm sure. Um, and the the um, uh, but yeah. So so there there the theory is that we live in uh, in, simu in simulation, and um, and it's it's a fifty fifty chance we live in a simulation, uh, because in the next two hundred years, a hundred years, we're going to create VR that is undistinguishable from reality. Mm -hmm. And that, if, if, if we're gonna be able to do that with the next 50, 100, 200 years, that means we've done that like 10,000 times over, you know, in the past two or 3 million years, right? So, so if we're able to make that, it's most likely we live in a simulation. Um, even the Big Bang Theory, the, they say the Big Bang Theory is one out of 400 quadrillion chances. Quadrillion is such an unimaginable number, we can't put like, we can't wrap our minds around it. So that being said, we probably live in a simulation, 50, 50 chance and uh, something like numbers, right? So a lot of people use like religion. I didn't believe in a religion. I'm not, I, I was an atheist, mm -hmm. but you use a thing called process of elimination. They say there's two, that, two different, 2000 different religions. 2000 of them are weird tribal religions in like Africa and Brazil. They don't really count. There's really realistically only five. Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. Buddhism is about nirvana, spiritualism. There's really no God. Hinduism is paganism. So there's multitude of gods for different categories. Uh, Judaism becomes an ethnicity thing. So if I'm, I, I can be whoever, uh, and you're an original Jew, you're the chosen ones. I can never become a real Jew. Even if I do become Jew, Jewish by reading the Torah or reading the Old Testament, whatever. Mm -hmm. Islam uh, I mean, I hate to say it, but no one sends their 14 year old daughter to an Islamic country. It's only left with Christianity. That's all there's left. The Vatican had tax. There's gazillions and gazillion dollars attacking the Bible. This country, this beautiful country is founded off Christian beliefs. They had to be fought for and they won. The, the founding fathers, they, they made something called the, what was it? The constitution mm -hmm. that is literally divine. It's literally divine. There are things, name another country that has laws in place that can say you are uh, divine as a human being, you, you are the created uh, of the image of God, you have the right to protect yourself, you have the right to freedom of speech, things that are divine as a human being, inherently no one can take that away from you as a human being. Those things are, it's literally divine. So this country, this beautiful country is founded off Christian beliefs. Why does everyone want to come here, right? Because this, mm. this country is fundamentally Christian. Now, now, it, what, how old is America? 250 years, 260 years. That's now it's kind of say. falling out of place. Right. And, uh, uh, but it's literally divine. And so the, these, the, you, 
the, uh, the, the difference also between Christianity and every other religion is that every other religion says, um, as long as you're a good person, you go to heaven. If you're a bad person, you go to hell. Christianity is the only one that says you are a disgusting human being no matter what you do. You're, you're, it says in the Bible, you're, 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 what you do is like wet rags, right? Your good deeds are like wet rags. They don't matter almost. What you have to, this is the difference between Christianity and every, every other religion, is that you have to believe in God first, then do your good works through God. Not you decide you're a good person and you decide what the, like your mind, your, your, you can say that you're a hardworking guy, you're smart, you're whatever. Those things are given to you through DNA, right? They're not, you don't choose to be a hardworking guy or you don't choose to be 5'8 or whatever. Mm. They're given to you through divine something. So uh, they say the Trinity also is very different from every other religion. Uh, you get the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father, right? The Father is is something that you cannot imagine. It's like numbers. Um, it's like numbers. You can't imagine a million or a billion or infinity. So that's the Father. The Son, Jesus Christ, is the interpreter, right? So he's brought into flesh so you can... And he was given like the grace of God to be like, follow this guy. He is the example of what God is, literally created perfectly. And the Holy Spirit is the, the, the communication between the three. So that's radically different versus every other religion. So that, that alone. Also, all the other religions, they say, when you die, you, you reincarnate, right? Buddhism. When you die, you do this. Or you, when you die, Christianity is the only one that says, when you die, you, you're late, you remain in the dirt until I come back. That's what Jesus said. You remain in the dirt till I come back. Why are those things radically different from every other religion, right? So when people clunk with Christianity with, with Islam or whatever, we're not the same. Just like UFC fights, there's only one champion, right? Um, I don't listen to people that, my, my dad always said, never trust a guy that never been in a fight, never turned a wrench. These things are, are a, a, a foundation of our country. Uh, people take it for granted and it's a shame. So. Uh, you know what? I, I never thought about the because uh, people usually come to America for opportunity. I never really thought about it being based off of, um, you know, the fundamentals of the Bible in Christianity. Yeah. I never, I never, about, getting, I, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, but, but it's getting a little blinded right now. But no, no, no. I I agree with you. I think. Um, uh, did you say you said you were an atheist? I was, but okay. now I, 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 I'm. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been baptized. I don't go to church. Well, what I was but... going to say is, is, um, you know, I don't claim, I don't claim anything. Um, this is my only claim. I'm going to end, end on this note. We got one person left. Nathan, stay, stay patient in the queue. Uh, I got one person left and then, uh, yeah, but I don't claim anything, but I will say I have a hard time believing that this is all, all of this. I have a real hard time believing it's all for nothing. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of like where I say, I don't know and uh, call me crazy, but sometimes, you know, I'll just talk as if like I'm talking to my mom or talking to God, my mom's passed away. So like sometimes I just feel like I'm able to talk to them, whether I'm talking to nobody or not. Um, and maybe it's something I was taught as a kid, like prayer and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but uh but yeah that's really my only thing that i can say that where i go i just have a very hard time thinking this is all for nothing yeah um and that's why i kind of say like, i don't know if it's god or the universe or even if that's even the real name um maybe there's multiple gods i don't know um but that's the one thing i will say but i appreciate you saying all that because i yeah. never thought about america being built off the off the back of the principles of the Bible. I never even thought about that. Yeah. By the way, the, the simulation theory that people always get it twisted uh, is, is people always say it, they, they equate it to like the matrix where you're laying in bed and you got wires hooked up to you or whatever. The simulation is just what the Bible has been talking about for 2000 years. Depend on what you do in this reality will depend on where you go afterwards. This reality is just like a little test. I mean, not little, but you know, uh, yeah. It's a test. So a, ma um, a major test. If this is just yeah. a pop quiz, I'm going to be pissed. Demon worshiping pedophiles run the world. So uh, okay, <laughs> we're going to end. We're, we're going to end on that note. We're going to take right, a man. hit. We're going to take a hit. Oh yeah. Pass it on. Take that hit. Weed is demonic, but yeah. No, I hear you. No, a metaphorical hit. Oh okay, okay. Metaphorical that makes sense. hit.
I got you. Yeah. I barely even smoke weed. A hit of love. Time. A hit of love. A hit of love. All right, man. Thanks yeah. for popping right, on. Man. Appreciate you. Uh, thanks for the two bucks from Dave. We got one last person in the queue, and we're going to end on this guy's note. We got Nathan. Nathan, can you hear me, brother? Hey, how you doing, Jack? I can hear you good. Uh, doing great, man. We, we chatted got... last, last, last week. We did, man. Uh, just for the new people in the queue, how old are you and where are you hailing from? Uh, I'm 49 years old and I am in the Los Angeles area. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, tonight's topic, um, you got anything kooky you want to lay on us? Uh, it wasn't really kooky. I, I kind of try, you know, um, just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about like the economy and, you know, the whole concept of, um, the world economic forum and you'll, you'll own nothing and be happy. I think, um, and I don't, I don't really know what a lot of other people that, that came on today have spoken about, but I think what's happening is, is we're going through a controlled demolition basically, uh, with the economy. I think that because the, the, the country, I mean, the U S is $34 trillion in debt. They can't pay back the debt. There's no way to, to pay off that debt and the interest um, to pay off that debt. Like, I think the interest is at least a trillion dollars a year for the government to pay off that debt. So what they're doing is because they know that they can't pay the debt off, they're going to um, purposely inflate the currency, which will cause a hyperinflation, which will cause the economy to crash. So then they can come in and create and usher in a new financial system, which more than likely will be digital. And I just don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's a coincidence that after the 2008 financial collapse, that all of a sudden cryptocurrency just appeared out of nowhere. No, I, think I, 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 um, I think it's all um, by, I think it's all by design. I don't think any of this stuff is on accident. Um, yeah. Maybe, I mean, maybe it is on accident. <laughs> I, I, but I, I highly, I, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think, um, I don't think property taxes and insurance and uh, thousands of new rules and regulations that no human being could possibly know all by memory. I don't think any of that's by accident. Not at all. I mean, I just don't call me crazy. You know, no, you're not you call crazy. me kooky and that's fine. That's cool. Everyone could think what they want, but I totally agree with that. Yeah. I really do. I don't think it's on accident. It's uh, it's interesting. I mean, I don't know how much most people know. I mean, the, the great thing about YouTube and, and other things is you can really do a deep dive and and do some research. But I don't know how much people really know about kind of the monetary policy of the United States. But in 1971, uh, Richard Nixon took us off the gold standard. Yeah. So, you know, we had fiat currency printed money, but you were able to go into a bank and redeem that twenty dollar or thirty dollars or whatever gold was worth at that time. You were able to walk into a bank and say, hey, here's my $30. I want an ounce of gold because the money had to be backed up by hard, hard assets, hard money. Yeah. In, in layman's terms, silver and gold, people say is God's money. It's been around for 6,000 years or, or more. Yeah, it's the oldest, uh, uh, oldest currency. Right. Uh, according to, you know, what I've read. Yeah. So once once we got off of that, once that standard ended, we were able to just, the government's been able to just print and infinite amount of money because they don't have to back it up with anything. So really the, what's really keeping the money going is just the confidence in the, in, in the currency. So I think now like because of inflation and because, I mean, people are working two and three jobs just to, to make ends meet. Yeah, um, literally. That shows that that destruction of the currency is why we're in the situation that we're in. Like I make a great living and I can't afford to buy a house in California. Isn't I make well over. That, I make well over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Isn't that pathetic? It's insane. I'm not saying you're pathetic. I'm no. saying <laughs> that's pathetic. You loser. You idiot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It, it's it's insane, but it's, it just shows like if I was making the money that I'm making now back in 1982, I could probably afford to buy three houses. But literally, I, I can't afford to buy one house now because it's or I could, but I'm I'm not going to pay a million dollars for a home that's like was built in like 1943 and it has two bedrooms and one bath. It's not, that makes no sense. It's not worth it. So that makes no it, sense. I, I think a couple of things are going on. That's happening. I think what it's causing is a situation because so many people are struggling financially that um, 
who has time to really try to work and, 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 and try to make a change in society when they're literally living hand to mouth trying to make pay their bills? It's no. a way to keep people. It keeps people in a state of economic slavery. And that's where as, as, as we move into or if this new financial system comes in where they issue in central bank digital currencies where the federal government will can control your money, right? They, yep. they have access to your bank account. Think about this. If we go into a situation where all money's digital and, and it's all being run through the government or the Fed and they deposit your check goes into your account through the federal government, what if there's a time limit on the, that, the spending of that money? There's here's actually your, there's there's been your $12, about that. Yeah, there's here's your $12, talk about that. for the month. You have to spend it. Otherwise, it disappears. Well, then how do you save money then if it's all digital, it's going to disappear? You never do. You don't. Right. And that keeps you in a state of servitude forever. So we'll all be 90 and we'll be working at Walmart. Yeah. And and here's the best the best one, too, is is brick and mortar, right? Yeah. A regular business. And it's getting to the point where even with that, people can't even afford the rent. Like, good luck buying a commercial property, mm -hmm. right? Most of those people aren't going to sell it to you anyways. Yeah. It's probably government owned, right? The damn mm -hmm. lizard people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, cold blooded. Uh, but that's that's like because okay. So when I say um, you know I own my own business, I, I really don't. I work for Google. Technically, all hell Google, and I've exhausted that bit. But <laughs> but I work for Google. It's a it's a um, it's a job. It's a job. It's just uh, I'm the happy slave, if you would say, because I'm picking what I want to do for work. But let's say, so when I was in the resale business, I really didn't own my own resale business. So like that guy Mojo that was on earlier, right? Josh, he actually owns his own business. He went brick and mortar. Yeah. But he knew that's the only real way to actually make that legit. Because if you just rely on eBay or you just rely on all these sites like Amazon and all this, I'm not knocking Amazon. They're giving people opportunity to make money too. And I'm not knocking YouTube. I love YouTube. Google's great, right? Um, Google sells information. Um, I get what they do. I yeah. understand. They monetize data. Yes, there you go. And um, But it's getting to a point where if you want to own a brick and mortar, uh, for instance, the restaurant I just left, they're probably going to shut down. Yeah. Um, and it's not necessarily because they don't make enough money. It's because they can't afford their bills, which you could say you don't make enough money. But really, that rent for that place is so astronomical. It's so ludicrous. Yeah. Um, that it, it, like the old place I was working at, this old bar, I'd say maybe, maybe 4,000 square feet uh, big. Um, not the newest building, not the best, you know, pretty just pretty chill size, not huge. Um, they're paying, they're paying like 20 grand a month in rent, but they're, but they're lucky because they have a bar that yeah. they, they have $20,000 nights, just liquor sales. Yeah. That's how crazy their bar is. So that, you know, this lady's, uh, you know, she's a millionaire. She's, she's chilling, but a lot of restaurants, especially anybody trying to start the business, just that rent alone is, is just screwing people so hard because now everybody's going online because it's easier to do that, you know? Um, but that's something I think about because once they get it to the point where a lot of sh like once it becomes more things are just online, like for instance, you guys have probably seen the um, advertisements for taxes, H and R block, all this stuff. Right. Um, that's, that's literally when you go and you don't get a private accountant and you just do that, you don't realize, and I'm guilty too. I have a private accountant now, but I used to use the online thing, but the more and more that keeps going, accountants lose their job. Okay. Right. right? And then B you're not real. Like we don't realize what that's actually doing. Um, and I'm guilty of it too. I'm guilty of it. I'm making money online through yeah. this simulated thing that we're doing now. Um, and it's crazy because I think about that. I go, wow, I actually, you know, unless I could get it to the point where I have my own website where I'm actually, 
but then I'm still making money through online. That's the crazy part. I'm not actually, <laughs> you know, um, which I guess we're just going to have to play ball and just roll with it. You know, I, I got a couple of things real quick. I don't think you work for Google. I think you've created your own thing on the platform that exists, right? And, mm -hmm. and Google is just a distribution model for you to do what you do and to make revenue. That's fair. So you're not, you're not a Google employee. They're not, they're not 1099 or W2ing you at the end of the year. Okay. That's true. But they, they, they do, they do send me checks though. I will right. say. Yeah. Right. But you're, but you're um, right. You're right. It's like a contracted out thing. Yeah. And, yeah. And okay. So what I do is uh, speaking of brick and mortar, I, I try to support as many mom and pop businesses as I can. And like too. where I live, like, I don't, I like coffee. I, I, I buy coffee every day. I can make it at home, but I, I, you know, I can afford to also go out and buy like a $3 or $4 cup of coffee every day. And I do that by supporting a local coffee business. It's not a Starbucks. Me too. It's not a big corporate. It's a mom and pop shop. That's a couple blocks away. I take a walk every day and I try to make sure that I keep my dollar circulating somewhat in the community that I live in. Keep it in the those family. Are, yeah. Those are all things that we can do as far as, but I'm, you know, I'm guilty too of online shopping and, you know, I'm surprised malls even exist anymore, to be honest with you. Cause most people at least, I buy most of my clothes online. Like I know my size. Yep. I go online. I'll get Levi, whatever I want to get. And it's just delivered right to my door. But, um, you know, but when I can, I try to support, you know, local clo clothing businesses and local restaurants too. not chains. Like I try to go out of my way to find, you know, a locally owned business and support that business. Oh, otherwise absolutely. it's just going to be, we're going to, we're going to be limited in choices. Like there's, Four, four, K, uh, four news networks, and we're getting down to the point where there's going to be four restaurants in the whole country. Yeah, all, yeah. All I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I all, there's a lot of food options, but yes, in yeah. theory, yeah, for sure. Uh, and I shop at a local spot too. It's called McCabe's. If you guys are in West Palm, they actually have two locations. They've expanded, yeah. um, but they're, you know, I, I try and I do the same thing. I try and support. Uh, I got there this, I got this little Jamaican restaurant right next to me. Yeah. I go there all the time, and they got you know, good beans and rice and it's cheap, uh, right. not too crazy cheap, but you know, I try and do the same thing. Cause, uh, right. you know, my girlfriend's big on, you know, she don't go out, she makes coffee at the house, but like, she's a Starbucks girl and yeah, people I label do. themselves that they go, I'm a Duncan girl or I'm a Starbucks girl. I used to be a Starbucks guy until I realized that they burn their beans and it's crap compared to the other stuff that I've, that I've, uh, been able to purchase so yeah it's and you're supporting strong. and i'm not saying amazon's bad or right. starbucks is bad but you're right if we're not if we're not keeping the money in the family right like yeah. for instance if i need plumbing done i call my friend yeah who i've known for 15 years right. to come do my toilet i want to give you the money yeah right if i have an electric electric problem i call my best friend richie and right. i give him the money yeah. So hit, hit, uh, you hit the nail on the head. I, I kind of wanted to pivot on this before I jump off is, yeah. you know, regardless of how much somebody makes, um, if you're working one job, two jobs, three jobs to survive or to live or however, whatever your situation is, um, it's very important to understand that when you get paid, you should take a small portion and pay yourself and put it away. Pay yourself first. Yep. Pay yourself first. It doesn't matter. Okay, they're going to cut my lights off. Okay, go buy some candles. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Go buy some candles, man. Hey, right? I like a if candle get, light. Call, call, here's the thing. That's Most good. people won't, won't even call the bill collector to try to work out a deal. They just get scared and they pay it and they're left with nothing. Make sure you put something away for yourself every time you get paid and don't touch it and just watch what happens over I time. Totally, I because totally agree. The bills aren't going to stop coming. You no, have to put not. something away for yourself. Otherwise, you're not working for yourself. You're working for the bill collectors. Break them off with break, break them off with crumbs. Yeah, you're paying, you're paying everybody else. You're forgetting to pay yourself. Pay but, yourself. Much, but usually, like most people, we got to learn the hard way. I'm guilty. Yeah. I'm guilty. Hey, you know what? If they're gonna cut your lights off, buy candles and get up with the chickens, man. <laughs> We're gonna end on that note. Thanks, Nathan. I appreciate you coming on, man. Appreciate you I, too, I agree with you. That was, that was, that was good. Good way to end the show. I appreciate you. All right. All right, man. All right. Last one. I have a stupid joke. That guy was talking about weeds, demonic. Uh, this, guy, this guy's laughing it off here. Um, I had a stupid joke where anytime somebody told me weed was bad, I would just go, Hey man, Jesus got stoned too, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
take it. I'm just kidding. That's a bad Bible joke. I don't even think Jesus actually got stoned. He did drink wine though, apparently. Anyways, hell of a talk, guys. God, that was that was a good time. I'm glad we can get kooky with the conspiracy stuff. But wanting to make a video on it lately, but I said stuff it. We'll go live with it. And we'll do this again. We'll do another conspiracy one. This was fun. I appreciate all of you guys coming out tonight, spending the time, dicking off with me. Hell of a talk. Enjoy your work week, you little slaves. I'm just kidding. All right. God, I've had enough kookiness tonight. Oh, actually, we got we had one last donation. I just saw it pop in. I can't, I can't do you dirty. Uncle Tony from downtown, Tony Armstrong, let me buy you some rice and beans, bro. My man, keeping me healthy. God, Tony coming in for the win. So Tony's one of my number one. He's been here a long time. Uh, I, he's in every damn video. I appreciate all you guys that support me. I really do. And, oh, God, money just keeps raining in. Jesus, we got another one. Uh, poor Jack bitching about money. Uh, 20 bucks from Jeremiah from downtown making money online is skyrocketed. Everyone wants to be a content creator. Um, all you have to do is make more than you can at, uh, McDuck's. Yeah. McDonald's. Yeah, absolutely. Thousand percent. And I'm all for making money on the internet. Fuck it. They want to make it. They want to make it that way. You know, let's, let's play ball, dude. You know, rules are meant to be broken anyways. That's just what I've heard. Hell of a talk, guys. Thanks for the 20 bucks. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate everyone that's donated. God, I'll see you. I'll see you sometime this week. We'll have a good time.